Hey y'all, it is a super duper digital event like nothing we've ever done before. A two night experience unlike anything in Kill Tony history. Go to KillTonyLive.com and get your live streaming tickets for the two arena shows. So much insanity is going to happen. As always, I always keep the guests and anything that I have up my sleeve a complete surprise for you. But if I told you what was going to happen on these two nights, you would be pumped and plus you already know all your favorite regulars and of course rick diaz versus hans kim for eternal regularship on the show a battle of two absolute autistic titans who knows what can happen a lot of special treats a lot of special guests it's going to be like the 10 year anniversary show but on absolute steroids super pumped get tickets now and support your favorite show in the world the number one live podcast started with 14 people in a tiny little room. Now we're going global. That's KillTonyLive.com for the amazing two-night event, December 30th and 31st. You're going to be sick of your family. Have some laughs. Enjoy two nights of Kill Tony Live. Anything can happen. KillTonyLive.com from the Comedy Mothership here in Austin, Texas for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe! <laughs> Who's ready for the best fucking night of their lives, huh? Oh, make some noise for Red Band, everybody. Hi. You did it. You all win. You're at the number one live podcast in the world, Kill Tony, brought to you by Gel Blaster, The Red Rose, Yellow Rose, Hull Law Firm, uh, NinjaPartyBus.com, where you can now get shuttles for the uh, December 30th and 31st shows at the HEB Center, sold out arenas that we're doing. No big deal. Austin Security Guard Service, uh, KillMerch.com, and ConnectMobileHealth.com, which you can get IV drips. Look at that freshie right there. We all had the Mothership Christmas party uh, this week, and full recovery thanks to ConnectMobileHealth.com. Get an IV drip, use the promo code KILL15, save 15%. How about a hand for the band, everybody? <laughs> Michael Gonzalez on the drums, Paul Deemer on the horns. Matt Muling on the electric guitar, John Dees on the keys, and this is our good friend D Madness on the bass guitar, everybody. Fun show ahead. Before we get started, here's a little bit more from the amazing sponsors that made tonight's episode available for you here, right now. NinjaPartyBuses.com, where you can reserve your ride to the arena on the 30th and 31st sold out shows in Austin, Texas for this show. How about that? That's Going cool. arena is pretty cool, right? Hey, y'all. This episode of Kill Tony is brought to you by Zipix Toothpicks. Zipix brings you a totally satisfying, convenient, and flavorful way to curb cravings, get a boost of energy, or simply relax at the end of your day. I absolutely love these things. Use them on the airplane all the time and anywhere else where I can't smoke cigarettes. I mean, you guys know what it is. Remember when massive vape clouds, ashtrays, and dip spit were awesome? Now there's an easier, cheaper, less messy, and more subtle way to curb your cravings with Zipix 
toothpicks. The best part about Zipix is that you really can use them anywhere. With two milligrams per pick and some three milligram options, Zipix toothpicks are long lasting, extremely affordable, and available in six delicious flavor choices. Red Band. You know, I've been subscribed to Zipix for over a year, like two years. Before they became a sponsor, I've been using Zipix. They are amazing because I love, you know, I, I suck my thumb still. I love boobs. And it's a part of the oral gratification that my mom somehow transferred to my brain. And it's amazing sucking on these toothpicks with flavors that keep me coming back to Zipix. Also, if you need a boost of energy, try their Zip Energy B12 and Caffeine Toothpicks. No doubt about it. You guys have seen us use Zipix on the podcast. Now it's time to find out for yourself. Go to ZipixToothpicks.com today and use code KILLTONY10 to get 10% off your order. That's ZipixToothpicks.com, promo code KILLTONY10. Must be 21 or older to purchase. Zip more. Smoke less with Zipix Toothpicks. Hey, y'all, if you need a little something to get you through the holiday season, then listen up. Freeze Pipe has you covered with freezable pieces that cool down clouds by over 300 degrees, so you can actually relax instead of coughing up a lung. The secret is Freeze Pipe's glycerin chamber. Just pop the chamber in the freezer for one hour for instantly chilled, icy, smooth puffs. We have these. We love these. Red band. It's amazing. It feels so good going down. This year when grandma's asking why you're still single and your weird cousin won't leave you alone, let Freeze Pipe take you away from it all. No doubt about it. American owned for over seven years. Try our favorite way to light up by visiting thefreezepipe.com today and use code Tony for 10% off your entire order. That's right. Shop holiday sales running until Christmas or use code Tony for 10% off at thefreezepipe.com. High quality glass, market leading glycerin technology. Order today to smoke like royalty without paying a king's ransom. Hey y'all, when you're partying hard this holiday season, when you need to recover fast, turn to Liquid IV. It's not just for people playing sports and running marathons, it's tiring, drinking all that holiday beer, am I right? And that sweet, sweet eggnog, Red Band. Mm. You need to stay hydrated. Liquid IV gets you hydrated two times faster than water alone. Just one stick has three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink and eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. We love it, Red Band. They also have a nice combo pack that has three of their best flavors. Check it out. I love all the flavors, but my favorites are grape. Oh, it's amazing. And the fruit punch. Liquid IV now even comes in sugar-free. There's no gluten, soy, dairy, or GMOs, and no artificial sweeteners either. Sugar is replaced placed with an amino acid allulose blend, which has the same taste and texture of table sugar. Ooh, your favorite, table sugar. Grab your liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to the liquidiv.com and use code TONY at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop better hydration today using promo code TONY at uh, liquidiv.com. Hey, y'all. The holidays are stressful enough. It's time to take something off your plate by putting HelloFresh on it. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. They send pre-portioned ingredients with delicious recipes straight to your door. It's way cheaper than takeout, and you won't need to go to the grocery store, wait in long lines, or spend all day trying to decide what to eat. HelloFresh makes it easy with over 45 recipes and more than 100 seasonal add-on items to choose from every week. They're all delicious, and you truly can't make a wrong pick. We eat them all the time. I absolutely love them. Red Band loves them. Speaking of which, Red Band. Oh, man, I love their fully loaded pork taquitos. you got to try them. Them out. They're so amazing. Yeah. They're one pot chicken sausage yeah. and chickpea soup. Mm. Mm. HelloFresh even has easy breakfast. You can quickly whip up before you run to work and fast 10 minute lunches. Go to HelloFresh.com slash KT Show Free and use code KT Show Free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash KT Show Free with code KT Show Free. Are you guys ready to start tonight's episode or what? It is a goddamn pleasure. You know, I take the liberty of booking every single one of these shows, and we go in a specific order. Sometimes it's beauty and chaos and this and that. Tonight's one of those nights where it's everything under the fucking sun. I present to you one of the funniest guests in the history of Kill Tony. Ladies and gentlemen, a new special coming out December 26th. Truly one of the best guests, one of my favorite comedians in the world. Make some noise for the great and powerful Sam Talent, everybody. <laughs> Sam Talent is here. Truly one of the best. If he's not already, he's gonna be one of your favorite comedians on planet Earth. 
Learn to love it. Sam motherfucking talent is back. Hey, everybody. Thank you for Hell having yeah. me back. The best. Glad to be here. Make some fucking noise for Sam Talent one more time. We're in it tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Sam's been on a few of the best episodes we've ever had. The last one was with the uh, amazing Dr. Phil. Yeah, I'm glad Adam's not here to fuck up everything. <laughs> yeah. By being Dominant. the funniest guy ever alive. Yeah. Adam Ray's Dr. Phil is so funny. We were talking about it before tonight's yeah. show about how we were just, by halfway through, we are just setting him up and just watching. We were I just forgot like, to talk. Yeah. We were watching a podcast. I was transfixed. It was like watching an eclipse through a piece of green bottle glass. <laughs> that was the funniest shit I've ever seen. And I wasn't jealous. <laughs> It was fine. <laughs> the new special, The Toad's Morale, debuts tomorrow yeah. on yeah, yeah. Uh, Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast YouTube channel. So yeah, make yeah. sure you check that out. Please watch it. Yes. And we're going to have fun tonight. You know how this works. I'm pleased to announce that we actually, you guys will not believe this, but we have a record amount of signups tonight for Austin, Texas, right as of right now. 218 Sign-ups. Ooh, there goes one flying. I bet 14 of them are funny. <laughs> it's a hobo jungle back there right now. It really is. People it are is. trading salt for bullets. It's insane. Yeah. No, it's fucking absolutely wild. And mixed amongst those people are geniuses that are just trying to survive. Some of them yeah, wait yeah. months and sign up every week. And a lot of people who have held a baby's head underwater for more than 30 seconds. Yes. That's the majority. But if I pull one of their names out, they get 60 seconds. You know their time is up and you hear the sound of a kitten. That means they have to wrap it up then or else they bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. And then I interview them and we find out more about them with our esteemed guest, Sam Talent. And I'm now pre-pulling who will be the first comedian out of the bucket. And while we get them from a bar next door, I think we should get the show started with one of our regulars, everybody. I think you know how this goes. Every single week, this guy does a new 60 seconds and an interview to start each episode, selling out all over the world. When we found him, he was living in a van doing 10-person open mics. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you a wild success story. His name is Hans Kim. Thank you. Uh, the ceilings in Brian Redband's club are so high that that's where I go to fly my drone. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. I had to start out like that. Obviously, you didn't like that one. Um, I, um... <laughs> I, I don't think everyone who's patriotic is a loser. But I do think everyone who's a loser is going to be a little bit patriotic. Because <laughs> if you've got nothing good going on in your life, you're going to be like, well, at least I'm here. <laughs> here, 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 here. <laughs> but yes, uh, you know, it's very sad to know that Joe Biden is still president. Um, I hate Joe Biden so much that I'm racist against old people. Well, look at this guy walking around like he's the president. Thank you. All right, Hans Kim ultralight tonight. I like it. Hell yeah. How we feel, Hans? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, Sam. What would you think about this sweet performance by Hans Kim? I'm a big fan of Hans offstage. Uh, he... <laughs> <laughs> Last night, I saw him at the, after the Christmas party here yeah. getting choked out by one of the door staff while eight other members of the security team were throwing $1 bills. It looked like the rape of Nan King. <laughs> it was... I got raped yesterday uh, yeah. by a door guy. Yeah. It's actually funny. I totally forgot about that. You just reminded me that I was watching Hans. What, how did that start? You told the security guard that you could beat him in what? Was it jujitsu or wrestling? Well, I saw these two uh, animals just going at it. Um, oh, they were wrestling. Yeah, the, these two, two door animals. Well, no, yeah. it was th that's not the door guys. The door guys are comedians here. Those were the security Those are the staff. security Yeah, they were ex Mossad um, agents. Yeah. yeah, they are uh, literally killers like black belts and purple belts and blue belts. And then there's you like, I could do that. Yeah. 
<laughs> how did that? How did you jump in though? Well, they were just going at it, you know, really uh, upping the aggression level in the room, and I was like, you know, this is just so primitive, and we should we're comedians, we should be higher than this. So I go in to stop them, and um, you went to break it up. Yeah. Okay. And then <laughs> one of the guys, Riley, was kind of lipping up to me, huh? And I was like, Riley, don't make me. What did he say that was lipping up? Well, you know Riley. You know the way that he is. He's just sort of like... I literally don't know Riley. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody here knows Riley. You're talking about Riley like he's on like a sitcom okay, or something. Honestly, he really didn't do anything wrong. I was looking for a fight. I uh, saw them there. It looked like fun. I wanted to join in, so uh, I just grabbed a body and started going at it. It did not work out, believe it or not, everybody. I'm trying to figure out what really happened, and it just keeps getting weirder. What else is going on in life, Hans? Um, you know, my girlfriend is uh, stupid, I found out. Uh, How stupid is she? <laughs> <laughs> she uh, recently asked me if Japan was a country. Ooh. And I said yes, and she's like, she looked it up. She's like, no, it's a nation state. <laughs> That's a country, dumb bitch. <laughs> it's an ethno state. They only let Japanese people in. The way it should be. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Do you like the fact that, uh, like, when you find out things like that, do you respect her more or less? Um, you know, it means it's uh, going to be easier to uh, get what I want out of her. Um, so, yes, I do enjoy having an advantage uh, over the people that I love in my life. What do you want out of her? Your passport back? <laughs> I just want my green card and I'm out of here. No, I'm just kidding. Have you been um, doing hard drugs again lately? Just <laughs> marijuana. No, I haven't been doing hard drugs. No, I'm, I'm Why fine. Why do you say it like a lot of people have been accusing you of doing <laughs> hard drugs? No, I'm not doing hard drugs, Dad. I have been uh, pretty good about not doing hard drugs. I've been doing mushrooms like once or twice or three times a week. <laughs> Anything fun happen when you're on mushrooms? What do you like to do? I was on an airplane. I missed my flight. Uh, had to pay a lot of money. But uh, luckily, I'm rich now. I have a lot of money. Uh, <laughs> Hans is out of it right yeah, now. Did you, did you, you like, were, bump you, your head before tonight's you, you, set or something? You said you were on an airplane and you missed your flight. How good were those mushrooms? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I'm, I love the mushrooms. They're from Nootropics. Check them out. Um, sorry to bring you into plug? this bomb. What the fuck? Are you <laughs> plugging things? All right, we're going to get rid of him. There he goes. Hans Kim, everybody's having a panic attack during the interview portion of the show tonight. A rare treat. I've never seen him leave so fast yeah. in his entire career on this show. I think Riley choked him a little too long last night. <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> that was almost impressive. That was the best I've ever seen him do. I don't know what just happened exactly. But now we go to the bucket, so it's going to be interesting. We have to build momentum out of a bucket pool here. Let's see what happens. This, anything can happen. Blah, blah, blah. You get it. Anybody can sign up. Let's see what happens here. Tony Cruz, everybody. 60 Whoa. seconds uninterrupted from Tony Cruz. How's everybody doing? Sometimes when I masturbate, I stick a Skittle up my ass so I can feel the rainbow. I know I look like a Billy Ray Cyrus, a Miley Cyrus had a baby. Yeah, guys, I'm a Southern Targaryen. I got a blowjob from a retard. I call that Radiohead. She sucked it so good, I fell asleep afterwards. It was some real ZZ Top. You ever wonder who Joe Biden's favorite band is? It's probably the Who. <laughs> who? Uh, anyway. You guys like Pokemon? Yeah, I was eating some pussy here tonight, and the pussy squirted in my face. Reminded me of that Pokemon character Squirtle. You know, Squirtle just squirting all over the place. I told a baby, if you keep on, you're going to make me char as hard, and I'm going to blast voice your Pikachu. That's when I pulled out the old Bulbasaur, pinned her ankles behind her head, and started giving her the slow poke. Slow poke. Wow. 
There he is, Tony Cruz, everybody. Unbelievable, because, I mean, he's got the look, the cadence, the delivery, and you're just, he's got nothing behind it. Like, it's like <laughs> yeah. this, you should be so much more funnier than you are. Yeah. You're Usually the material has to catch up to the stage presence, but Absolutely. not tonight. Absolutely. Yeah. When it does, I mean, it is fucking rock stardom for you, sir. Thank you, sir. I mean, listen to you. You're I'm so I'm a huge cool. fan, dude. I'm a huge fan. I'm actually a huge yeah. fan of you. What? I'm giving you a pretty big compliment here. I think you've got it all figured out except for material. Yeah. It's actually quite a bit. It's like a lot of the battle. You didn't like the you didn't like the radio hit. I mean, I, I got I the movie and the. I literally didn't get it. I wanted to get it. Radio was retard... like a retarded black guy who was the water boy. And the boy. band. It's the movie and the band. You know, I it's... did not know. Yeah, that. we understood it was the band. Uh, Thank you, Tony. Yes, <laughs> that that came through. The punchline is what didn't translate. Yes, it, it was, was the radio part. Why would the radio be retarded? Because that the gentleman in the movie had what movie? Was... Radio. <laughs> What the fuck movie is radio? From, you guys from, are all... Who, what? Is yeah, this a coordinated grew, attack? Am I being pranked or uh, something? Radio, you fucking idiot. Yeah. It was right. in two, 2002. You, 2002 movie? Yeah. Yeah. And you guys are losing your minds over yeah. it right now? <laughs> I've never fucking heard of this. Yeah. Cuba Gooding Jr. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why would this be a sport comedy with fucking... This it was a, not a comedy. No. It was a very serious biopic. It was a true story. <laughs> <laughs> it says sport comedy. I, I yeah. think it doesn't hold up, so it's funny now to see yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It was mentally disabled, so they know what it is. They it was about the up. only black guy to not make a football team. <laughs> That's what it was about. Really? Yeah. Cuba yeah. Gooding Jr. was the retarded guy? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, ladies, shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> We found Radio's biggest fan over here who's, who speaks in a very condescending tone. Yes! Shut up. I liked a lot when uh, he got to like 45 seconds and he was like, looked at us like, oh yeah. God, I have to do another joke. And then he went into the Pokemon material. Man, I love Pokemon, dude. I grew up playing that shit. I'm, all right. You know, the references. I got more to that joke. I'm just saying. The references. There's are... more. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> do you do all 151? <laughs> we're getting there. Yeah. No, we're getting sure. there. I'm still tagging that one. Uh -huh. so. I thought she was a jinx, but she was a Mr. Mind. <laughs> you're, you're not going to yeah. believe this, radio fans, but I know yeah. nothing about Pokemon as well. I mean, I'm really out of the loop during this, and I have no references I can make right now. <laughs> <laughs> Love you too, man. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Well, yeah so. so, um, tell us about you. How long have you been doing stand up? Been doing it. Just came over a year. So, okay. Yeah. All of it here in Austin. Nah, man. I start in Dallas. Uh, I'm from a small town called Sulphur Springs. So yeah. it's northeast Texas. If, if y'all know where that's at. You appear as you, though you were raised around a lot of sulfur, so that makes sense. <laughs> I get the vibe. Yeah, you smell yeah. like the night before Easter. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's a small town. It's a good town, but yeah. Yeah. They, a, a little known fact about my town, like there's Every like these... fact is a yeah. little known yeah. fact about your town. Well, you're gonna love this, Tony. I'm literally they have, finding out about sulfur. So you they can say have, anything. I would be. Uh, oh, you're gonna love this. They have glass bathrooms in their downtown, and it's mirrored on the outside, but you can see everything around you. So then there's also like a place where kids splash around. So during the daytime, if you're a pervert, you can... Anyways, it's... Yeah. If you were a pervert. Yeah. I like that disclaimer you put just on saying, there. That's kind of what we think it's there for. You know, I'm just... Anyways. Have you used... I hope I don't get killed saying this. Did you say that was a fun fact? <laughs> <laughs> the old glass bathrooms. Not a lot of people know we got glass bathrooms downtown. So basically, I'm looking women right in the eyes while taking a monster shit. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I'm using the public downtown bathrooms for I sure. I do love my hometown. It's a good, it's a cool place, man. Yeah. What else is cool about it? There's How many black lakes? people live there? <laughs> I bet he knows exactly the amount. Sulphur Springs doesn't sound like a very welcoming it place. Is, it is segregated. Like, it's one of the, it's still got, a, a MLK still has a black side and then, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What, you, what was that last part going to be there? And then there's Mexicans. Oh. Yeah. The old Cesar Chavez street. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like how They're everywhere, man. each yeah. neighborhood makes it quite clear who, what you can expect. Yeah. 
And then you got your good old George Washington Boulevards. You know what I'm saying, people? Where I like to be. <laughs> anyway. Uh... Don't forget about the Jew corridor. <laughs> That's really popping off this time of year. <gasps> I've... I've had Mark Coleman on my podcast. I have a podcast too. But okay. Yeah. Shut up. What? Who? What, what name it, did it, you just drop? Mark Coleman. Mark the Hammer Coleman. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Real segue into yeah. your podcast oh, sorry, there. Yeah, Very sorry. smooth transition. Almost completely unnoticeable. Seems like you had no intention of trying to do that in your if you got pulled out of the bucket here. I'm glad you took your hat off during your set so we know the hair's not attached to it. <laughs> What do you do for a living looking and talking like you do? Toad taster. <laughs> this man can lick a toad and tell you exactly how old I do. Is. I do have a foot fetish. I, yes. Yeah, I do have a foot fetish. Uh, I've been married for... Me and my wife have been together for 11 years. We've been married four years. Uh, but yeah, when you've been together that long, you have to get into feet and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> Not if she's I, still tight. Yeah. Didn't I ask you what you did for oh, a I'm living? Oh, I'm sorry. I, well, you... <laughs> He started talking about foot questions fetish, and I, I'm asked. sorry, sorry. I started thinking about feet, sorry. Go ahead. My goodness. You um, know money? What do you do for how a How do job? you get it? Oh, uh, yeah. I've had, I, man, I, I had a good job during COVID. Uh, I was essential, so I made a lot of money during that period. So I've been living off of savings. and just You were a what? Essential, an essential employee, so yeah. Of what? What were you doing? Uh, manufacturing. Yes, sir. I don't believe anything you're saying. Um, what were you? Crystal meth? No, I think he was making the virus. <laughs> yeah. I got paid a lot of money, you know. Uh, yeah. I kept Silver Springs running, brother. Yeah. That crank powered our goddamn city. How are we going to keep the black people from going to the good target unless we're all gacked out? What type of situation were you raised in? Is it like a trailer? Is it like a yeah, lot of yeah. farmland trailer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And are your were your parents together when you were a kid? Uh, yeah, they were together, and then my mom passed uh, right before COVID, so she didn't have to experience that bullshit. But yeah, man, it was uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, it was great, man. She I'd had rather be that dead than have to dude. wear a fucking oh, mask, dude. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm glad my mother did not have to look people in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I moved to the city after COVID because man in my small town they didn't even like we didn't give a fuck and, and nothing changed nothing at nothing, all nothing no. nothing did yeah. people talk about how nothing had changed there a lot no everybody was kind of I mean everybody else we saw you know everybody else changing and we're like why do they want to do that for you know so you were raised in a trailer let me ask you this before I let you go because this is a long interview what's three plus two <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Why are you going to put me on the spot like that, man? <laughs> Sorry, Fuck that, dude. dude. <laughs> no, Fuck I, that. I want to know Tony Cruz, if that really is your name, because you don't seem like a Tony nor a Cruz. Uh, <laughs> but I want to know, um, what is in your life, raised in a trailer, Sulphur Springs, segregated, what's the white trashiest thing you've ever done or what been part of? Like in your life, if there's one thing that you remember like doing or being part of out there in Sulphur Springs or perhaps any time after that. I'm half Mexican. That was earlier. Then there was another question. The question was... I mean, that's... Anyways... What do you yeah. think the trashiest thing you ever did? I can't, like... Sure. brown great, trash. Dude. Forget I've white trash. Some, What's the brown trash? What I'm trying to say thing? is, like, be, being half Mexican is great, man. It's cool. Have you ever answered a question before? <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm going to go back to three plus two. I want to see if you have this. Yeah. I was trying to. I was hoping be, saying half Mexican would make them laugh. You know, talking shit about Mexican, yeah, but no. why not. would that make them laugh? No, my bad jokes. I guess I don't let know. Me You're very likable, Tony. Yeah. Let, let me rephrase the question. You answered honestly. Right, What's right. the trailer trashiest thing about your childhood or your upbringing? And then you get to go after this. Just answer honestly. I used to, when I was young, me and my friends would break out of the trailer house, and then at 3 o'clock in the morning, we would go down neighborhoods and rob, get, un see if anybody left their doors unlocked. Yeah. And then we would grab their guns and their rent money and all that shit and then take it with us. You answered that one perfectly, yeah. my friend. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Very good. People are amazed at your ability to answer an honest yeah. question. Uh -huh. That was also a legend. 
No, but right. yeah, that's what we. I mean, it, we, dude, I, I grew up poor, you know. So you would rob yeah. the other trailers. You're like a reverse. No, no, no. We would go to the nice neighborhood. Okay. They they normally don't. Ex- they they leave their shit unlocked, so we would just. Yeah. Well, you can't do that now. There, there's a ring cameras. Yeah, you can't do that now. Right. But, White yeah. trash, you know, yeah. burglary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's actually pretty open-minded of you. Right. <laughs> Well, Tony, congratulations. Fun stuff. Here's a little joke book, my friend. Make some noise for Tony Cruz, everybody. Is that an awe for a little joke book? Did I hear an awe out there? So there's someone with emotions that likes expressing them? Aww. Um, yeah, let's keep it moving. You guys having fun yet? Yeah. All right, I have good news for you guys. This next bucket pool has an I in parentheses next to it, which means they are inside of the room. They are one of you. So that's usually like a first timer or something like that. Make some noise for your next bucket pool. Ashley Seta, everybody. Ashley Seta. Ashley! There she comes, there she I do is. believe. Right from the middle of there the room. She is. Ashley! Taking a very long time. You're going the absolute wrong direction. There you go. Hey, don't throw her while she's walking through the crowd. Come Literally on. almost walked into a wall and backwards. She went away from the stage and that way. Literally couldn't go a worse direction. If you pick, if you perhaps. There she is. Fuck yeah. Take How many of you time. like it when people do good on this show? How many of you like it when people do bad on this show? Whoa. 60 seconds uninterrupted for Ashley Seta, everybody. Holy shit, (laughs) y'all. It has been a week. Um, My sister got her PhD earlier this week, and uh, I'm on Kill Tony, so... (laughs) I think that we can all imagine, you know, who my mom is probably the most proud of. <laughs> um, so, you know, going on with disappointing the parents' stories, let me tell you some embarrassing shit that's happened to me in my life. Let's go. Um, <laughs> Cross country runners, I hope there's a couple of y'all out there. Hope you guys are good. All right, we got one. I'm assuming everybody else did beer runs. I feel that. All right. I ran cross country in high school. That was a hot minute ago. I was fucking awful. (laughs) I was so bad. Um, They made me run varsity one time, and the only time. And, um, you know, I'm running, and they have a golf cart behind you, and it is just tailgating my fucking ankles, man. And I'm like, oh my God, this shit is real. I am the slowest person alive. (laughs) Okay, Ashley Seta. Holy shit, you went for it. No preparation whatsoever. That minute went so fast. Yeah. He made D cover his ears. He only has four senses. (laughs) I didn't even hear him meow, you know what I mean? God damn. (laughs) Right. God damn. Okay. Where are I, you from? Sulphur Springs? <laughs> I'm from Austin, Texas. Whoa. Everybody's pissed that you're from Austin. Like, God damn it. Wow. Representing Austin, Texas. So this is, I'm guessing this is your first time attempting stand-up comedy. Yeah. Good. That's a good answer. How do you think it went? Um, probably not that great, but that's all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, Ashley, what made you want to try this tonight? Uh, basically, why not? I highly mm-hmm. doubted. I highly oh, doubted I would be chosen, why and then not. you guys fucking did it. I have some answers for you on the why not. See, it's very rarely that I get asked a question on this show, and I'm proud to answer the why not. The why nots would be that people that have prepared or wanted to do this for years or perhaps even months... Um, sign up for the show and then you come up here like if John Benet survived her murder and trying to put on a pageant type of uh, let me tell you some, y'all some embarrassing stories about me <laughs> like this is like a bad pageant it's like a it's like a it's like one of those like a uh, like a Purina dog pageants or whatever like a uh, like one of those like oh that look at this one this one th- this actually. one's a stand up comedian dog everybody <laughs> look there's a microphone in front of her. 
I've heard a lot of comics try and like ask the crowd a question to start a bit. I don't know if there's a more alienating question to ask a comedy crowd than who does cross country. <laughs> uh, Read the room, Ash. Come on. Uh, These people barely have feet. They got the sugar syndrome. <laughs> you're just up here bragging in your cool sweater. Come on, Ash. You're you're, are you're, you like yeah. that sweater? Oh yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> My God, that is game it. respects game. <laughs> This is so us. <laughs> Girl, stop. So cross country, it, I, I missed it because I was bored out of my mind. Um, cross country, you said that you do that? Oh, hell no. I actually would not even run at this point right. if it was to run You seem more of like a, a shot put kind of girl, right? Yeah. You have the, what? Why is that a groany thing? No. Why are you groaning at that? Yeah. Brock Lesnar's I, daughter, everybody. I love <laughs> <laughs> Those genetics are strong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've actually grown more into like the sport of watching football and drinking beer while I do it. But yeah, yeah back in the day, I was athletic, kind of, not really. I think yeah. the only thing you've ever run away from is an abusive relationship. <laughs> no, you stayed. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's brave. I am the abuser, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. yikes, buddy. Let's go. Oh, Stop just it. kidding. Quit. <laughs> Girl. Uh, yeah. What it, do you do to them? Your stand-up act? Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Ear beatings? I've locked the door from the outside. You must listen to some embarrassing things about me. <laughs> <laughs> she should have to do her act in that glass toilet in Sulphur Springs. <laughs> 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 as long as I'm not the ones outside of that window, I'm fine with it. Like, I'd rather be in that. I don't want to be the one being looked at. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so what do you think... She's good at riffing, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> what do you think the funniest thing you've ever done is? Has anyone ever told you, like, Ashley, you're so funny, like that? Has it been, like, a time, or is this just you're just really just shooting for it? This is like the half court shot in a professional game. Like, we're going to let this person shoot, and if they do anything at all, we'll all be surprised. I mean, I think the funniest thing I've ever done is be right here with you guys. Wow. wow. You know, it's funny. Like, you talk, it's you talk, you sound like a hot chick, and I'm watching the words. And the, do you guys kind of hear, like, the fucking greatest thing I've ever done? And I'm just like, it's not matching the fucking... I'm just kidding. You're great. It's okay. Everybody, there's a groany audience tonight. Let me tell you something. I'm blaming the awkwardness of this interview on y'all. Here's a little joke book, Ashley. Whoa, good catch. Look at that. She's built like a Ashley, catcher. Ashley, everybody. Good work, Ashley. Good work. <laughs> Catcher, shot put extraordinaire. We, we should we should talk about that more though. Like, don't sign up if you don't want to be a comedian. Don't waste people's time because it's not funny for any of us. I think it goes us. without saying, but yeah, definitely don't sign up if you're retarded. All right, pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for Trey Campbell or Cam Burt or something like that. Trey is next on Kill Tony. Oh shit! Oh shit! Make some noise for Trey, everybody. Hey everybody, I'm Trey Campbell. I'm on the autism spectrum. I'm the same as everyone else. I just got more vaccines. Oh, Trey. Thank you. It's so crazy. A lot of w older women come up to me. They're like, oh my God, that's so cool. You're on the autism spectrum. So is my son. I'm like, does that mean we're not fucking? <laughs> Who wants to fuck their kids? Am I right? Any Lizzo fans in here? It's crazy, there's allegations going around that she made um, her backup dancers eat fruit out of a sex worker's vagina, and I think those allegations are unfounded because we all know Lizzo doesn't know anything about fruit, am I right? <laughs> Lizzo is my dream threesome, so... <laughs> there's two of Lizzo. I'm so excited to be here. As a kid, I would always carry around a wire coat hanger, and they would be like, Trey, why do you have a wire coat hanger? And I'd always say, I've had this since I was in the womb, y'all. Holy shit, look at this. I mean, where do we begin? Trey Campbell. How you doing, Tony? Wow. I've been looking for a new William Montgomery, and I think we found him, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm drunk enough, so... 
No, William's I'm still drinking. William's sober now. You're adorable, yeah. huh? Thank you, Do you Tony. only come around during the Christmas times? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Santa. I'm the you? elf on the shelf. <laughs> That's a fucking sturdy shelf, bro. <laughs> 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 That's a steel shell. <laughs> it's dope, you know? We look like we showed up for the same casting call. I know. <laughs> Let's hope we're not on the casting couch. So. No, no. Oh, <laughs> yeah. my goodness. They're going to have to put a tarp Tony? on it. Good. It's good to see you again. Were you on in L.A.? Am no, I remembering I was on, that? I was, was on that Austin? Vulcan, yeah. You invited okay. me. What? You invited me. I invited you. Yeah, you said me and William would do our thing. I saw you on the street. Yeah. Yeah, and I told you to come do a thing with William, and then you did. I did, That's correct. That's right. It's all what was he doing on the street, biting the heads off a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing on I don't remember exactly. Probably trying to find Adderall. You're an Adderall addict, huh? Correct. Okay. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> That is so interesting. What do you like to do after having Adderall? You know, I like to watch old NBA highlights. I like to watch the Chicago Bulls take on the Atlanta Hawks. This is Hawks. the second person in a row that does not sound like what they look like. Is anybody <laughs> with me on this? Ron That's White fair. gave me acid a few days ago. Either I'm having fucking flashbacks to that, or these people do not. Why do you sound like that? I think it's because of a lack of testosterone. <laughs> She's nodding. <laughs> you don't want a sexy woman with bangs nodding at that joke. <laughs> Look at you. You're adorable. Thank you, Tony. How old are you? I'm 28. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. <laughs> Why that's, do you think, That's yeah. a tough 28. <laughs> <laughs> what has happened to you? Why do you think you aged so much? <laughs> you think I aged? Thank you. I've been trying to look older, so... Well, there you go. It's like you absorb the voice of the kids you molest. <laughs> <laughs> I was the one getting molested. All so. right. Yeah. That's that an what? upbeat That's note. funny, though. I like that. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I mean... That must have been a horny pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you take what you can get. You're telling me. He's like, I'll settle for this. I'll settle for this 13-year-old that looks 50. <laughs> I'm so glad you think I look old. I've always been told I look young. I, I By who? D? Well, because <laughs> he's blind. I yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you, Trey. You're welcome. <laughs> it is incredible. I mean, you are a spitting image. 28 years old, and he looks like the mayor of Munchkin Land. It is incredible. <laughs> well, you know, it's been annexed, so I can't. I didn't, that didn't work. I shouldn't have told that. Okay. What do you do for work? What arcade games do you collect the quarters out of exactly? <laughs> he sucks um, them out. <laughs> it's funny. I work at the Secret Group so in Houston. Oh, yeah. We yeah. love that place. Yeah. yeah. Old school fucking territory. And you s live in Houston? Correct. Right. And uh, are you gay? No. You just you <laughs> sound like that? Yeah, you know how it is. I do know exactly how it is. <laughs> I literally know how that is. Yeah. Yes. Everyone knows that I know what that is like. But I still have to ask. So what's your... Have you been getting laid by girls at all? I got, I got this one woman. She's, uh, we went on a date to Davida Dialysis. Uh, we just... <laughs> You guys got dialysis together? Yeah, she had dialysis, not me. I'm going to get dialysis in the future if you look at me. But yeah. no, we went to DeVita, and then we went you to... You say DeVita like it's a fine Italian steakhouse. <laughs> <laughs> we went to DeVita. Oh, the, the restaurant? No, the dialysis clinic. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. You I had a great sauce. time. Tell us why you had a great time. What was so crazy about it? She just kind of told me about her dead parents the whole time. We just kind of chilled. So she's a romantic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I took some Concerta before I went. It was great. I had some a, what? It's basically like Adderall, but it's different. What's the difference between that and Adderall? I health think, insurance. Yeah. <laughs> now, you hit the nail on the head. It is health insurance. Nice yes and, Trey. <laughs> that was Thank good. You. Yes. I feel like your sexuality is trains. <laughs> it is true. That is funny. I do love trains. Honestly. You do? Yeah. No shit, brother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I was a kid and I discovered porn, I saw there was a train category, and I was like, dope. Thomas the Tank Engine's fucking another female train, but it wasn't. It was a boy train? 
No, I think so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thomas the train engine fucking a female train. I've never heard of a female train before. I don't think there are any. Right. Actually, I think there was one on stage right before you. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, 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 we came to kill Tony to groan. Oh, oh, oh. Don't make fun of women, but keep calling this kid retarded. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. fine. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> it is. It is incredible, this look. It looks like you're down to clown and clown to downs at the same time. I, w I am a recovering juggalo, so... Uh, what does that mean to you? I used to be a juggalo, but now I've kind of left that life behind. Right. Wow. Too much Fago for yeah. you. As you can tell. Yes. You have That's a race a car on your shirt and a Chevy hat. What, what car do you drive? I drive a Chevy Cruze. It's also a house. Wow. <laughs> Hell yeah. And your name's... Oh, that was Tony Cruz. You're Trey Campbell. That's Correct. right. I was going to make a Cruz Cruz connection there, but there was none. You totally. look like a Japanese animator drew an American. <laughs> 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 I would do like a Japanese accent, but I don't know if that's. Let's hear it. Oh. No, no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not this crowd. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Do it. Do some more. I want to hear some more. <laughs> Are you sure, Tony? Yeah. All right. I brought dishonor to my. <laughs> This is wow. stupid. Wow. I you, should you, not have done this. Has anyone ever told you that you look like a wizard, but like a cheese wizard? <laughs> nah, this would be the first time. Okay. I can't tell if you're real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't either. <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> How long are you visiting Austin for? Um, probably, I can come back anytime. There you go. <laughs> I would love to have you back on The Secret Show whenever you can. Look Thank at you, that. Red Band. There you go. <laughs> Trey Campbell, everybody. Great. We're having fun here. Adorable. All right, your next bucket pool goes by the name of Jonathan Candy, everybody. Jonathan Cando, perhaps, or Canley. Jonathan. Here's Jonathan, everybody. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, sorry, I'm a little nervous. Uh, I'll start it off. When, when I was like around 12, uh, I was trying to look up some stuff on the internet. You're not supposed to. Uh, but I was trying to look up something more relatable to me. So, like in the description, it says like, you know, 18-year-old, 19-year-old. But I'm, I'm like 12, so I try to type in 12-year-old girl. <laughs> Nothing came up, but uh, so I tried 13 year old. Nothing, nothing came up still. My final offer, uh, I tried 11 year old. Nothing came up, but uh, so I had to settle for adult tits. But uh, looking back, that's actually a good thing that that wasn't there. And uh, I, I didn't know, but I had to go for the dark to the dark web for that. But I, I didn't know at that time. But uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh, did anybody see in the news recently, like, like a few... <laughs> I was 12, I was 12. Um, I guess we'll, we'll do the meow, that's cool. Okay, there you go. Rolling with the meow. Is it Jonathan Candy? Kando, Can Kando. Can do? Kando, Kando. Jonathan Kando? Kando? Well, you can't do comedy. Uh. Uh, it was a, Sorry. It's adorable. How long have you been trying stand-up for? Uh, I, I, this is my like first like real set. Right. Oh. Right. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, the premise is good. Yeah. Everything else was bad. See, it was a reverse from uh, Tony Cruz. What else is in the news? You know, <laughs> that's that's what something. I'm wondering too, man. I can tell you real quick. I, I got it. No, please don't. Okay. <laughs> you got what? The joke? What is it? Go ahead. Uh, like a few months ago, there was a, a woman in the news that was, uh, she was arrested for trying to hire a hitman for her son. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> there was two problems with that. She, oh. like, she went to rentahitman.com. Yeah. Also, the second problem, the real problem, she, the son was only three years old. So... 
Oh, D Madness is leaving the show for good. It's incredible. No, no, don't do it. What? What? My, my, why didn't she just leave the hot, the the son in a hot car like an adult? Okay, so you're more like a shock and awe. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm a I'm a truck driver. I'm a truck no, driver. you're not. You're a truck driver, a timid young truck driver. How old are you? Twenty nine. Oh, okay. Man, a lot of uh. All right. I'm glad we let him finish that joke. That was it. She, she should have, if she, she don't. We, we, yeah, we should have left. She would have got away with it. Yeah, she definitely would have got away with it. Yes. I've heard a lot of like pedophile jokes, and usually they're funny. It's yeah. really hard to biff a pedophile joke. It really is. It really is. Uh, I, know, I feel I like I was molested after that. Yeah. Um, so, Jonathan, let's talk about your real life. What are you passionate about? I haven't seen you smile yet. You seem like a security I'm concern. I'm just nervous. I'm point. just nervous. I think uh, his diaper's full of piss and shit right now. Yeah. <laughs> and that's okay. Uh, I, Two racing shirts in a row, by the way. Very bizarre. I don't know what's going on here exactly. <laughs> Yeah, Whoa. no shit, asshole. <laughs> so it's not bizarre. fun when you say it. Uh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Ladies and gentlemen, I recognize that voice. No way. Is that who I think it is? No. Wait a second. What the heck? Ladies and gentlemen, my big brother, one of the greatest comedians on Whoa. planet Earth. I do believe that is Ari Shafir and Mark Norman. It appears as a though. We are under an invasion of sorts. Uh, <laughs> home, uh, sweet home. Hey, what's up? As a typical Israeli just going Holy over other hell. people's property with some Palestinians being pushed out of the way. It's Ari Shafir and Mark Norman. It wasn't easy. I had to sneak him out of a Hamas bunker. <laughs> we got him here. This is in honor of the 25,000 Palestinians who were killed in Lebanon. Fuck yes. Harvard hates this guy. <laughs> Genocide. It's okay. You interrupted this kid's panic attack. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, hell oh, yeah. Shit. Fuck, bro. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, Let's fucking no, go. No, no, no. <laughs> Brought to you by no, Sheep no, Underwear. No, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas I... to you. We just got demonetized. <laughs> oh, we got a blur for that. Uh, we got a blur for that. <laughs> Amazing. Hell yeah. Circumcised. Who would have thunk? I love it. Who knew he was circumcised? His serial uh, number was on his dick. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a defined penis head? Or yeah. you have a yarmulke at the tip of your yeah, penis? You. That thing was incredible. <laughs> That Shane menorah. Gillis, you look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, so, sorry. Here you go, Ari. Hey, Tony. Who's this faggot with the dream? <laughs> yeah. It's true, man. You missed a real flat line. I'm this sorry. is his first time ever How'd doing do, in be, being in front of a real Dude, audience. I don't know. You don't know? Do you have any idea? Did decent. Uh, yeah. Bad when Ari's genitalia gets a bit of reaction. Yeah. Yeah. The Have you ever seen is... an old guy's dick before? <laughs> I didn't look. I didn't. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this is Kill Tony. <laughs> Sheathunderwear.com. Sheathunderwear.com. <laughs> Sheep oh, yeah. underwear, the absolute best. We all wear them 100% yeah. Great underwear. of the time. Use promo Wrong code answer. chubby. <laughs> 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 Smells good. Whoa. Uh, Sheep <laughs> underwear. Ladies. Too bad D Madness missed that. <laughs> he could have heard that dick. 
Oh, hey. Is that the blind guy? <laughs> oh, our, we, we lost our second blind guy. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> we're losing all the blinds uh, out here. That's what we call him now. <laughs> I love it. Ari, this, this guy's first time on stage. What do you have any advice? Did you see the absolute shit show? Before you I got up here, we he was the only the tiny dick on stage. Uh, yeah, true. How tall are you? Five, six, five, seven on a good day. Uh, on a good day. On a good day. Why do you think Hamas rapes were qualified? Two, the leaders are pussies. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? Did I... They can't man oh, up okay. and fight. I heard the N word there, and I'm glad I. You heard what you wanted to hear, yeah. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did. All right, so. John, what, what's going on? How long you we, back? What did we miss? Did we Not miss much. No, okay. no. We missed it completely. How did it go? Very bad, but he's oh, a nice okay. kid. It was his first time. What's your name, buddy? That's great. Yeah, first time's awesome. Jonathan. John, nice. Johnny. Dude. Big fan of y'all. Appreciate y'all's time. Uh, Thank you. I loved you in the Lego movie. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I'm in the Batman one. Okay. <laughs> Jonathan, craziest thing about your life. Did you ever have any uh, childhood trauma or save anybody's life? you have any special skills or talents? You've seen the show before, correct? You're in the interview portion of it right now. What would you say if you could talk to yourself after this session? Did you ever say, play an arcade game that turned you big? <laughs> I love Mario. Yeah, that's my first system, ninety six, sixty four. No, um, the be my best, my best, like my best thing about me, I think I I can get songs stuck in people's head. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Jokes are forgettable, but let's try it. Do it. Get it. Get a song stuck in our head. Okay. My life's a stereo. <laughs> oh no! Is this from the movie Radio? <laughs> Get out of here. There he goes. Jonathan can't God do bless you. Hey, Jonathan. There he goes. All right. Jonathan's All first right, time John. on stage. Good work, Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan. All right. Before we get to this next bucket pool, we have a golden ticket winner who's ready to debut another minute. He has uh, cerebral palsy. Make some noise for the legend, return of a legend, Martin Phillips, everybody. Martin Phillips is here. Hilarious. Hey, Nick, what's up? I'm cool, okay? Uh, <laughs> It's not the joke. Uh, uh, it's, uh, stop laughing. Okay, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's cold outside. I like the cold weather uh, because I like wearing my bonds fur jacket. I also enjoy wearing a fur jacket because I pimp on the side. Uh, my side hustle. It's pimping season. Um, but right now, for my birthday, my mom got me a card. And she wrote a happy birthday in quotation marks. So I was like, is it my birthday? Is there? <laughs> so, so when I wrote her back, I wrote, I love you. <laughs> See you soon. You know? uh, uh, I'm not, you know, I don't drink too much, uh, but I hang out at bars. And whenever I leave, there's always a guy like, hey, you good to drive? And I'm, and I, I'm like... I don't know. We're, we'll find out. And, uh, and then I get in my car and I rub them over. Uh, uh, yes, I want to go. <laughs> wow. Golden ticket defender Martin Phillips doing it again. An extremely oh, strong no. minute. I An bet, unbelievable performance. Oh, I've nice been backstage. Dude. I missed the penis. I got Oh yeah. The penis. I was like, yes. oh, uh. Absolutely. You did miss something else that leans hard to the right, like oh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine leans to the left. Mine to the left. I think your squiggles all around. If I had to yeah. guess. <laughs> yeah. The helicopter. He's got that fucking. He's got that Michael J. Cox. You know what I'm saying? That thing's fucking. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I do notice in your set, I do believe you have the word pimping confused with limping. Um, it's well, limping know, season for you. No, no, pimps limp too. We got the. Uh, Absolutely. You have a yeah, natural so, pimp walk. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of pimps, D Madness is back. 
Say pimp yeah, three times. Place. Pimp juice comes out of. Do you do you have CP? Actually, I have muscular dystrophy. I meant child pornography. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you have a bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think God got you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you fell down this stairway to heaven. <laughs> uh, no, I, I like I like the glasses. At the at the last minute, God was like, also bad eyesight. <laughs> 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 We're all made in his image. <laughs> God's always cold. <laughs> I'll be going out again. When, uh, when, when kids ask me why I'm shaking, that's what I say. I'm like, I'm cold, sorry. And then, and then sometimes they're like, oh, take my jacket. And I was like, oh, God, no. <laughs> Like, it's not working. And I was like, I'm really cold. I'm, I'm hypothermia. I don't think you should be having one-on-ones with children. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm a substitute teacher. I should have said that. What? No, wait, you're a teacher? Substitute. I'm not a real teacher. I'm oh, okay. Substitute teacher. That's got to be a lot of fun. <laughs> it's, it's fine. We, yeah, it's Special chill. ed? Yeah, every, every, for some reason, every time. I don't know. No, it's he's uh, calling you a hack. <laughs> <laughs> Shake hack. <laughs> so Martin, what else has been going on? You've been here in Austin, or you're just visiting? What's no, going no, on? I live, live now. I live here right. in South Austin. I've seen you before, right? You've done the yeah, show yeah, before. Yeah, 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 yeah. We met at before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're clothes on, but you know. <laughs> It's cool. Uh, Where'd you grow up? Inside of a microwave? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want wa- washing machine. <laughs> washing machine. I love it. Hey, look at this idiot. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Wait, we're making fun of the special okay, okay, needs okay, guy. Right, what are you right. doing, Ari? Come right. on. I don't know. <laughs> Someone's self-conscious. Wow. It's Martin's Make-A-Wish. <laughs> <laughs> this is like my eighth Make-A-Wish. Wow. We're the first seven for stillness. <laughs> <laughs> for a moment of calm. I think, uh, I think you age out of Make-A-Wish. I think, uh, have you tried anything for that? Like, I've seen some videos where, like, they get people with well, oh, you certain have be, things high you have, and... Sorry, yeah. you talk about make a wish because you have to be dying and I'm not dying. Can't you just say that you're dying? I it seems like, like if you came in, you're like, I I'm think, dying. I, I believe I, you. I, I you give you the a, fucking wish. I think you like a doctor's note to be like, hey, he's going to die. He's, <laughs> he's got to make me Mickey before he dies. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Have you ever tried anything, though, like ketamine or anything to calm uh, this down? Weed? Oh, well, I, I've gotten weed before. Uh, so that's street crack. Have you ever tried oh, street not crack? Not street crack. Not any hard drugs. Yeah, I bet the cracks in some. streets actually cause quite the problem for you. <laughs> yeah. I'll fit <laughs> in with the homeless. Like, uh, Have you tried duct tape? <laughs> <laughs> Just encasing your body in it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Cocoon okay. man. Velcro. Velcro's <laughs> easier to get it, break free from. Uh, <laughs> How long have you been doing comedy? I uh, uh, well, uh, uh, eight or nine years. Oh yeah, yeah. shit! Yeah. Are, 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 I think I saw your special on Twitch. That wasn't hacky. Okay, that was a good joke. Okay. Have hey, you tried? Uh, have you tried a lot of things that normal people do and looked funny doing them? Like uh, probably who? fucking everything. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you uh, play any uh, sports living, growing uh, up or anything like uh, that? Uh, I did. I'm uh, in mean, college. I was on the club baseball team. Okay. But but I did, how about I, hula hoop? You seem like you'd be uh, good at hula no, hoop. No, I can't do it. I you can't do it. Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. I swear to God. I, I, yeah. I don't know, how do you want to have the hula hoop here? But it's <laughs> no, we don't have one, Michael. Uh, I don't fit in them, so I've never tried. <laughs> Sam just calls that a belt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck hard? What's your story? 
Do you have any special moves in the bedroom? They must uh, love it when you're inside of them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, a human yeah, vibrator. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I've heard, I've heard that before. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, well, just do my thing. You know, it, it's, it's, what it's is good. that thing? You know, the regular thing. <laughs> Like, oh, hey, I know, hey, you know. What are some of your favorite things to do? Like, is there a specific position or thing that your favorite thing that you're in the bedroom for you? I just like being there, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sure, love it. Just happy to be there. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. There. I'm there. I'm with you. Presence nice. is your favorite so, uh, yeah. position. Hell yeah. I'm, the I position guess. of present. I had this forward. So I, hell yeah, dude. Hell like, yeah. Have you thought about like having kids? Uh, I mean, not right now. I mean, I'm not, not really quite any at the moment. So. I feel like you could raise kids, but never above your own head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, will, I, know, I, have, uh, no, I do have nieces and nephews, but I will be honest. Uh, They're but, scared of you. Yeah, no, yeah. No. I, I didn't hold them too much when they were babies, but now... You can throw them around at school. Yeah. We yeah, have fun now. We, you know. So. How old are you, buddy? I'm uh, 32. Okay. Cool. What do you do for a living? A uh, teacher. Or no, no, that's right. You said that. that. Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. Wait, what, what does he do? Sub, 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 oh, teacher. Uh, <laughs> I, I knew okay. that. I knew that. Sorry. My, I, I sound like I look like, you know. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All you right. Do. Martin, another unbelievable performance. Great work. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Set of the night the without a doubt. Right. Killer. Funny. What Martin guy. Phillips. All right, back to the bucket we go, ladies and gentlemen. Anything can happen. Make some noise. 60 yeah. seconds uninterrupted for Melissa Diaz. Yeah. Melissa Mexicans. Diaz. Who likes Mexicans? So it was my dad's birthday the other day, and it's pretty hard to shop for dads. They always have everything they need. So whenever his birthday comes around, I just give him flowers. People think it's weird, but you know what else am I supposed to put on his grave? <laughs> all right, we're like, look, all right, he's dead, but at least now he's more emotionally available. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. You know, he used to run marathons when he was alive. Now he can't run away when I want to talk about my feelings. <laughs> So it's pretty cool. We scattered his ashes off of Queens Harbor in New York. Uh, not by choice, that's just where the plane exploded. <laughs> but <laughs> it's a beautiful ceremony. And what's crazy is that it, it did happen. It was a plane crash. It happened two months after 9-11. Isn't that crazy? And so nobody gave a shit, basically. That it, <laughs> bunch of Dominicans just floated in Queens. You know what I mean? That's just... But it's weird to be jealous of 9-11, okay? Every year I'm just bitching about it like some mistress bitching about her boyfriend's housewife, right? Like, what does she have that I don't have? An inside job? Bitch. Wow. What a set. Holy shit. Melissa Diaz. Unbelievable. Good Hello. job. Good job. Have you been on this show before? Yeah. Yes. Fuck yeah. Well, welcome back. First time at the mothership, though. This is great. Yeah. Hey. Where's the other one? Vulcan? Absolutely. Yeah. And a fantastic, uh, fantastic set. Thank you. Uh, Good, so. confident, solid. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> right? Indeed. They're coming sure. for our stage time. <laughs> <laughs> How the long have you been doing stand up? <laughs> Eight years now at this point. Eight years. Most of it in New York? Mm hmm. And do you live here now? I do. I've been here for about two years. Love oh, it. shit. What do you love about Austin, Texas? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a nice sky. Nice sky. Yeah. yeah, we do have a sky here. Yeah. It is wild. <laughs> do you miss the rats? Um, just the, my uncles, but that's it. Yeah. Everybody else uh, is fine. I what love about it. the Jews? You miss them? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> you already asked right her about the rats. I do actually miss the Jews. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> And your it's dad was really time. in that plane crash. Yeah, it was uh, Flight 587. It was yeah. uh, 
2001. It would happen two months after 9/11. Yeah. It was crazy. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I study. Uh, I'm interested in uh, giant Tragedy? commercial plane crashes. Yeah. Oh, you are. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. That you are interested in that. That's fucking weird. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. It's a big thing. <laughs> it's a big thing. I'm forgetting the name of the fucking. I actually like that you are channel, though. but yeah, it's very very interesting. It's story. funny because in Europe they thought 9/11 was November 9th. So they thought oh, right. it was about her. It was, oh. Yeah, reverse. Calendar joke. I yes. got that. <laughs> Thank you. There's an autistic guy in the back high-fiving <laughs> someone else. Finally. <laughs> He's just rocking, nodding. <laughs> <laughs> Did your dad call you from the phone on the plane? Let's roll. He didn't call me when he was alive. Why would he call uh. me on the plane? <laughs> it sucks when a shitty dad dies. It's really conflicting. Yeah. No, he was, a, he, was, he was okay. He did the best he could. All right. Yeah. You know, As a rapist fucking white was, feeder, nah. he did pretty good. I was, a, I was a piece of shit also. I was a piece of shit teenager, so it was uh-huh. also on me. He did call me before he got on flight. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, but I was too high, so I said, can I call you back? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he was high, too, for a second. Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> and then it all came crashing down. <laughs> Um, so Dude, wow what does your mom do is she in your life uh, yes uh, she's yeah. an art therapist sort of but she's not licensed as a teacher so now she's just working with mentally challenged adults right the yeah. last guy that was up here yeah um, <laughs> just keeps ask. having the kids draw plane crashes yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was your dad doing did your mom almost go on that trip where was he traveling no they to? were divorced this was crazy because uh, he's Puerto Rican. He was on a flight to the Dominican Republic, mm-hmm. but everything about his death was just very Dominican. Like once, you know, he died, we found out he had a secret family in uh, DR. You know what no. I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Sort of like he just got married and she had kids and it was just wow. a whole thing we just didn't even know about. Damn. Um, so. Can I ask you a question? So you're a comic out here now, eight years, nine years? What did uh, you say? Eight I have years? been here eight years, nine, but yeah. Okay. Where do you go up? What's, what is your normal like, spots here? How do you get up? Um, I just kind of do mics, a lot of mics. Okay. I'm not, I'm very introverted, so I'm not good at the whole networky thing. Yeah. yeah. So I just kind of get up, and then I've Creek? been getting booked because of it. Yeah. Do a lot of mics. Mike who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you know, it's kind of funny. She got married at Skankfest this year. I That's did get what? Did? Oh, oh, yeah, what show? Oh, oh, uh, I just uh, got married downstairs in the little chapel. And all our friends were there, so we figured. Where's your little chapel at Skankfest? Yeah, was on the first floor. Comedian? Like down the street. Uh, oh. yeah, yeah, he does comedy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who's funny? Are you or him? Mm. Did he sign up tonight? No. Oh. I would have loved to have that whole moment, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Did Zach yeah. Amico eat the whole cake? Hmm. Zach Amico. <laughs> he did not make it down there, so no. Yeah, we there all were stairs it. involved. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there were stairs, so he didn't go. So we got to eat our cake. The big fat guy. Yeah. Melissa, Huge. fantastic set. Thank you. Uh, you. Funny, funny stuff. Yeah, that was great. Thanks. Absolutely. I'd love to have you back on the Secret Show Thursday. I would love oh! to do that. Thank you. Boom. Secret Show. Do you already have one of these? Uh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. There you go. Melissa Diaz. All right. Thank you. On to the next one. What Sorry a great about, set. How about, about one more time dad. for Melissa Diaz, everybody? Hey, there you go. All right. Okay, we're keeping him flying through. Ladies and gentlemen, your next comedian. Ari, Ari, get a drink. Ari, she's married. (laughs) Make some noise for your next comedian, Trenton Tebow, everybody. Trenton Tebow. Here's Trenton Tebow. Hell yeah. Well, um, my girlfriend broke up with me recently. And uh, that sucks. It sucks because uh, I have the same taste in women as black guys. <laughs> so that kind of kills my self-confidence. Because, like, that's the last group of guys I really want to compete against. <laughs> like, if it was just me and Asian dudes and the thick, overweight white women, that'd be a dream come true. <laughs> Listen, I have a type... And it's a uh, type two. <laughs> um, a little bit about me. Um, <laughs> what a I'm a uh, fat, ugly, straight. So uh, basically, I'm two thirds of a trans woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. 
If I'm like a natural trans, though, like, I was born with a dick, and then I grew tits. <laughs> I'm a... Uh, fuck yeah. Trenton Tebow. Wow. Way to pull it out. Rock solid. Oh, no. Boo. Booing Ari's pants going back on. A sad moment in history. If you're here, show. who's working at Bucky's? <laughs> <laughs> if you're here, who's killing all the nurses? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm actually, uh, I work at uh, Popeye's as a, as a diversity hire. <laughs> Do you, what really, you, you really work at Popeye's? No, no, that's not no. bad. Oh. He's the only pink employee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what Who are do you at? do for work? Uh, I actually do work at a restaurant, and then I also build uh, handmade swim baits for a lure company. Swim Hell baits? Yeah, dude. yeah. What is that? What is a swim bait? It, it looks like a fish. It's overpriced. They're like a hundred and fifteen to four hundred dollar for a fishing lure. And Don't, it, look, and it wow. looks like they're swimming. It goes like that. Yeah, basically. Right. I know what do you all do for the company? Because I'm a man. I build them. You build them. Yeah. <laughs> Context clues. Yeah. Okay, so you're like a real true country fucking bumpkin, am I right? Uh, you would be exactly correct. It takes a real fucking middle of nowhere gagoots to make fishing lures. So I want to find out more about yeah. this treacherous lifestyle of yours. <laughs> Hold on, we have to let this man with full-blown aids get to the restroom real quick. I don't know yeah. if you guys see it's the tough. specimen. Get him his AZT. Yeah, it's bloody urine for sure coming yeah. up. Okay, Spots. so go ahead. Tell us about your... Uh, trashy childhood um it's a lot better than what you think it would be honestly by listening to me was your dad theo vaughn <laughs> no theo vaughn's successful <laughs> he looks like my, theo my vaughn did. dutch my mom right. spent a little time in louisiana so he might be uh-huh where where'd you grow up i grew up uh, about three hours north of here west of fort worth okay yeah you Mineral well. Wells, Texas. Ooh, you ever heard of Sulphur Springs? <laughs> is that where Cars is? Yes, I have. <laughs> That's where they shot some of the movie radio. <laughs> um, so, Trenton, tell us uh, more about you. What do you like to do for fun? What are some interesting things about Trenton? Um, I'm pretty boring. I like to fish a lot, and that's about it. Come on, you pet animals too hard? <laughs> 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 I, I, yeah, I really don't have much of life. I've been uh, hitting the bars lately since uh, my girlfriend left me. So. Oh, oh, how long were you with her you? for? I'm sorry? How long were you with her for? I was with her for like two and a half years. What yeah. happened there? Yeah. I, I have no idea. Uh, she, uh, she just decided to leave me on September 11th. September wow. 11th? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Why? Did, le- did she at least say Allah Allah Akbar first? <laughs> no, she didn't. Uh, not a big history buff, but... At least you'll never forget. <laughs> you, will, you, will. Yeah, you'll, you will remember now. That's a good point, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play the Jewish music during that joke. <laughs> we know who really did 9-11. <laughs> Only we could have. <laughs> Such a coordinated attack. Yeah, take some intelligence. All right, so she broke up with you on 9-11. Where was this? Was this at your place? Was it at a restaurant? In person, on a, phone? No, yeah, it was over the phone. Bitch. I what? know, that's what I'm saying. Really? Yeah. I'm guessing it was Two over speakerphone on the bus. <laughs> Sorry? Two and a half years? Two and a half and years over she, the phone. What did she say to you when she broke up with you? Just tell us what um, she actually I'm said. tired of your hell raising, Trenton. <laughs> yeah. You she, spend so much time at that catfish pit, you come home with all types of dog food between your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> then you want to put it in my hole? No more of that, brother. Yeah. I don't want any kibbles in my bits. Yeah. I'm going to Jackson. <laughs> basically, uh, basically, I told her we weren't going to get married, so she said, I can't do this anymore. And Told her you're not going to get married. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's wow. crazy. She was hoping... Damn. To marry yeah. you. you, you so is it weird not talking to your sister again? <laughs> <laughs> so why didn't you want to get married? A uh, former relationship really ruined that for me. So uh, Tell us what, what happened there. I was just with another chick for like five years and real pressured into getting married. And I just 
fell out of love with her, and so... And it ended up... Every relationship ends up going bad for you because they want to marry you. Yeah, basically, that's kind of how it goes. Wow. All You're right. a catch, buddy. <laughs> that's flattering. Yeah. What, do you have, like, a forked cock or something? Yeah. <laughs> it's webbed? I, it's not impressive at all. What Groovy. is the value then, buddy? So now you're single. You, you think you're going to be able to lure in someone else? Uh, or are you going to be a masturbator forever? <laughs> <laughs> Fish bait jokes, folks. They won't be floating around all night. <laughs> I, actually, uh, I was actually about to link up with like a, a 55-year-old cougar the other day. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. She was fishing too? Yeah. Cat fishing? And then, uh, then I missed the hint and didn't follow her back to her hotel room. What was the hint? Hey, you want to uh, go fuck, kid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, she, I got menopause in about 20 minutes. <laughs> she was basically like, oh, I'm tired after she was done playing with my hair and all that. And, playing uh, with your hair? Yeah. She's like, your face is the same color as my pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and then like three days later, I was hanging out at the same bar and I went home with some gal. And uh, it turned out to be her niece. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh hell wow. yeah. So then you're just hard as a rock. <laughs> then what happened? You banged uh, the niece? Yeah, I slept with the niece, so now the aunt's out of the picture. Yeah. That's, That's probably for the best. Yeah. That's how it goes. How old's the niece? Uh, 17. 20, 27. Okay. You fuck with condoms or no condoms? Uh, condoms now. Since I... What kind what? of condoms? Do they have a special kind for uh, billy goats? Just what? Oh, since uh, since I'm just trying to fuck around now. What what happened before? I was in long term relationships, so I figured it'd you be blast. All right. I'm sorry. You blast. Yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. Oh yeah, I was uh, I was supposed to open up for uh, Cam in Fort Worth, and I got hit by a semi on my way there. You got hit by a semi? <laughs> Were you in your car? I was in a truck. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Really? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> what happened? Uh, I was sitting in traffic on I-20, and uh, we, were, we stopped, and uh, this semi didn't. <laughs> and it uh, turned into a six-car pileup. What? And I got... I was on my way, actually, to Hyenas to And then go. Tracy Morgan rushed you, and you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you get paid? Did you yeah. get the uh, uh, lawsuit? We're, we're working on it. Hell yeah. Nice. The... Uh, yeah. I'm guessing you don't have the best lawyers. Yeah. Well, so Your Honor, I stopped, and they didn't. <laughs> I rest my case, I think. Yeah, Objection. The, that doesn't go oh, here. Cool. <laughs> the, uh, the truck driver was Ukrainian. So. Oh, so they definitely want you to pay for it. So now I'm... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were probably rushing to get wherever they were going. I was uh, I was on the fence before, but now I'm for sure pro Russia. <laughs> it must have been a sturdy fence. <laughs> All right. You're one to talk. <laughs> oh! I do like I look like you from the future here to warn exactly. you. <laughs> Make good decisions. All right. Yeah. Working on it. Yeah. Hell yeah! I love it. Uh, Trenton, a very very fun performance. Congratulations. Good job, Here's a big joke book, dude. There you go, bud. That's it. Thank you. Fill it up. Fill it up with jokes. Yeah. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get back to the bucket, here's one of the great regulars of our history, a fucking force. Make some noise for the great and powerful Cam Patterson, everybody. I hit that guy in the semi-truck. I didn't want to open for me. I did that, nigga. Oh. I went, I went surfing for the first time uh, last week. I didn't like it. My the nigga that would teach me how to surf, he was gay. That was weird. You feel what I'm saying? It's not because he was gay. We were just all out in the ocean. But I said he could have raped me or something. I don't know. I don't swim good, sir. It was a bad time. I will tell you this. All I saw was like a sunset. We just saw like a beautiful sunset, and it looked so dope. And then he looked at me, and no, we did not kiss, the white man. He just. <laughs> He just looked at me and he was like, yo, that's so beautiful. And I was like, bro, it is beautiful. It's beautiful as fuck. And then he, it was dope. It was a good thing to see. I was like, man, that shit is dope, bro. He says, kind of look like heaven, right? And I said, yeah. And then he went, if heaven was real, wait a minute. 
I don't believe we're in the middle of the ocean with a fucking atheist, dickhead. What the fuck? He don't believe in miracles. That's crazy, bro. That's insane. That's wild as fuck. Yeah, that's my minute. Nick. That's oh, it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Cam Patterson. You yeah, really yeah. can't swim good? I swim my height, but it's not the best. I'm not one of the best swimmers of all time. You know that means he's the best black swimmer of all time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because your pockets are full of rocks. Hey, that's yeah, the problem. That's not a great way to swim. That's the issue, man. All the rocks in my goddamn pocket, nigga. That shit was fun, though. Surfing was cool. I liked it, though. Where'd yeah. you go surfing? Oh, uh, I went to Malibu. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. That shit was yeah, dope. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That shit was cool there. Yeah. Okay. I stood up. You stood up? I got that's up there. It's fun. Nigga. It's fun, huh? Wow. Hell yeah. That's incredible. And, uh... <laughs> For what are you doing long? Malibu? How long were you up there? I was up there for like three, four seconds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what it were felt you... like forever, though. What were you doing in Malibu? Were you taking a break from looting? <laughs> <laughs> Malibu is an odd place. I for... was scoping out some spots. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to rob, but everything was burned down. It sucked. Were they burned down Malibu? That shit burned down? Yeah, a lot of it. Damn. Really? Oh, no, I'm thinking that... of Maui. That's I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong. Big difference. I'm wrong. I was like, that shit look beautiful and I would do that. No, no, I'm wrong. <laughs> Look at that's crazy. Sorry. Ari has sundowner syndrome. So. <laughs> sundowner syndrome. I'm just happy I'm out after you pulled your dick out. That was cool. I know. And, uh, <laughs> like, I was backstage like, thank God I ain't got to see that shit. I got a lady friend here. She seen your whole dick, man. Damn. I would text her like, I'm sorry. Usually this shit don't happen all the time. I apologize. <laughs> I kept this off to make it look good. It's mostly balls. It's really mostly it's balls. balls. It's a lot of balls. It's like a... <laughs> Mostly balls. You got any new marbles lately? You nah, I ain't marbles. What do you mean marbles? <laughs> you, know, you repping any new marbles? Nah, you any like marbles? marbles? Yeah, I love marbles. Marbles are cool. Yeah, buddy. You ever seen Marble Racer? Yeah. Hey, that shit dope. You ever seen Marble Racer? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh yeah, fuck? yeah. Marble, marble, marble racing, racing, dude. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Thought, I thought you were talking about like a cousin or something. Marble racing. <laughs> 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 what else is going on, uh, Cam? What else is going on in life? You surfed. Yeah. What else did you do in L.A.? Anything crazy? Uh, almost. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> he thought of something. Oh, <laughs> shit. Bro, me and Laser was supposed to fuck some porn stars. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sounds like a... Yeah, <laughs> crazy, right? So listen, porn stars come to the show. Uh, I'm thinking, oh, it's a done deal. They want to fuck. One of the bitches showing her titties to Laser... At the bar, this was insane, right? So we get back to the B and B, and the bitches drive past me. So I'm an optimistic young man. I go, "What they finna do? They finna go park?" And <laughs> he was like, "Nah." I was like, "What you mean, nah? What happened?" It was four bitches in the car, porn stars, and Uncle Lays. I said, "What happened?" And he said, "The main porn star bitch got a text message from her dad, and her dad said he was finna kill herself. That he was finna kill himself." And her whole demeanor changed. She ain't want to fuck no more. I want y'all to know something. I hope that nigga is dead. <laughs> I hope he did it, dog. Yeah. There you go. I hope he fucking did it. Your daughter is a porn star. Fuck, now you lost already, dog. It's over. Yep. She was like, I'm going to go fuck a black guy. He's like, that's it. <laughs> Porn I was okay with. This is where I draw the line. And it's interesting. <laughs> Things are really out of order here. Normally, the dad kills himself, and then they become a porn star. Oh, this is yeah. like a, the chicken or the egg or something that's like that. Crazy. Like, he waited. Like He was like, damn, I could save her. And then she was like, yeah. she finna fuck laser or something. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Oh, yeah. You want the road with Major Laser? Huh? You want the road with Major Laser? Yeah, Uncle Laser. Uncle Laser. Uncle Laser. Uncle Laser. Sorry. Oh, Major, oh, Major Laser. Laser. <laughs> Big difference. Different Laser. Who is Major Laser? <laughs> Who is that? Techno. Techno nigga? I don't no, know Major Laser is like a, like he's just rock. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Barely. But yeah, that shit was fun. That's though. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wild. Have you ever been with a porn star before? Ah. Come on, James Dean. Where the camera at? <laughs> but I would like to be. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Talk to me. I'm a handsome young black man with a medium-sized dick. Come fuck with a nigga. There you go. Hell yeah. Johnny oh, yeah. Sims, oh, turn up. Top, man. <laughs> Heck Cam, yeah. who's, who's your favorite pornography star? Right. Oh, my favorite porn star. Who? Damn. Jeremy. He went top five. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is that, nigga? He's just some guy in jail. Jeremy? <laughs> He's one of the greats. He's yesteryear. Damn. He was like our Cosby. For real? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kill raping bitches? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, that's crazy. Why are we oh. dapping up to this? That's crazy. <laughs> that's insane. You oh, have to do it back, though. Yeah, that's right. right. You got all like, fuck, I don't want to do this one. Not this one. Yeah. 
<laughs> solving racism with rape. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. <laughs> Rapism. Oh no, I like I like Pinky yeah. till she got fat. Pinky was cool, and then she got fat Ooh, and hey, Pinky. 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 Oh. Yeah, she, you know Pinky. Yeah, Done yeah. my research. You know Pinky. Oh, yeah. This guy know Pinky. Pinky. Hell yeah, everybody know Pinky. <laughs> Nigga, he get it. So she yeah. a big bitch, not old bitch. When she would, I mean, I love big bitches. <laughs> That's <laughs> my Sir, fucking problem. I love all types of women. I love all women. All women are dope. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can confirm Pinky got See? a little thick. Pinky got big as fuck, though. Oh, wow. Red, Red, Red Band always brings up God, the porn damn, things right very there. quickly. Holy oh. shit. Oh. Hey, See, look at this. Red Band already had that pulled up. Yeah. That was weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's, wow. it's, it's his homepage. It was there the whole time. Wow, PinkyXXX.com. Is, is that oh, an yeah. uh, African-American lady? Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are those sunglasses? <laughs> Fucking the d Well, they make everything white. It's better. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, they're called gentrifiers. <laughs> Damn. Pinky got old, That's too. rough. Yeah. Wow, it yeah. Rough, she it got rough, dog. She looks like David Lucas. I don't know. That's a, that's a bad idea. Cam, you did it again. Another amazing performance. Hey, so Cam. much fun. There goes the great Cam Pattis and everybody. Cammy. Go see Cam live. It's very yeah. funny. He really is. Check the dates. We're about to be in Florida this weekend. Fuck yeah. Cam Corder. One more time for Cam Patterson, everybody. Yeah. All right, back to the bucket we go. 60 seconds goes to Nick Mume or Mummy or Mum. Nick Mum. M U M M E. Hey, Mumba! What the fuck is going on? <laughs> um, shows were so much fun when I was growing up, you know? Like, I remember there was a show called uh, Pimp My Ride, where, like, they would get a mom with three kids, where, like, all she had was a crippling mortgage, you know, with just her car. The guy would walk out and be like, damn, we heard you didn't have any money. That sucks. Anyway, we turned the back of your car into a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> also, they turned your windshield into a flat screen TV. Um, don't ask me why. Yeah. The girl I'm seeing has like really high standards, but I have really low standards. So when we do stuff in the bedroom, the bag goes on my head. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Whoa. Nice power okay, move. 53 power seconds move. from Nick. Is it Mum? Mum? Uh, mummy. Motherfucker's mummy. got Muppet mouth. <laughs> Hell yeah. You're very nervous. Hey, what? You're very nervous. Uh, kinda. Yeah. I kinda you shake need a, a lot. <laughs> Nick, uh, welcome. How long you been doing stand-up comedy for? Uh, I want to say it's right around three years. Three now. years. And what do you do for uh, work other than put body parts into your refrigerator? <laughs> <laughs> um, and fuck Miss Piggy. Mostly just, <laughs> Ow, hi, <Jesus. laughs> uh, mostly just work with dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you do with dogs? You work with black uh, guys? Just pretty much just like watch them. <laughs> Wait, what? Nothing. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Wait, what is exactly what I thought, Nick? <laughs> um, Keep yeah. going. What do you do with dogs exactly? Uh, just watch them. It's like Come a daycare. On. Like a daycare. Watch kind them of watch. Over Lick peanut the butter off of what? <laughs> <laughs> you no, make I them fight. No, it's kind of like a daycare thing where they just like fuck around and I just sit there and watch them pretty much. So people, you knock on their door no, and no. then they answer the door and, and then you go, hello, I'm here to watch your dogs. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. No, they come to us and they just drop them off and we just... Right. Yeah. Dude, you why do you sound that way? <laughs> <laughs> Did you go deaf this morning? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> your go voice deaf? is ridiculous. Your voice uh, sounds like AI generated it. <laughs> I'm um, a human being? I, maybe. <laughs> Great question. What is that accent? <laughs> Where are you from? What did you witness as a child? Yeah. I'm from here. <laughs> You're from Austin, Texas? I mean, he not means Austin, Earth. <laughs> but from Texas. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. And why do, you, why do you think you, you don't notice that you have a little bit of a twang, if you will? I mean, I twang. don't pay attention to it, honestly. <laughs> what? Like, I don't pay attention to it. You don't pay attention to your own voice? Uh, no. Would you if you sounded that way? 
So interesting. Nobody's ever mentioned this to you? Do you sound kind of a... Uh... Vape? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I don't know what that is, but I love it for this. Phenomena. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> to be quite honest, I've never thought of it before in my life. Funny you should ask, I'm from here. I love that song. <laughs> I'd say of all the people I've met in my life, your Adam's apple is top seven. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you got a whole orchard in your throat. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Man, he didn't budge on that one. <laughs> now, now I see it. The Adam's apple is aggressive. Pronounced. It, yeah. Does your dad uh, sound like you? No, not at not all. Not at all. So the Adam's apple falls far from the tree on this one. <laughs> Very far. Very Son, I'm sorry. I never said I loved you. <laughs> <laughs> the, what does your mom sound like? Uh, no. You have been frozen in carbonite. You sound like RFK Jr. Soon the effects will wear off. <laughs> You're temporarily blind. Don't make the same mistakes I made. <laughs> Uh, and I stand the risk of smoking. <laughs> All right, in feet, how close can you get to kids? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to show you pictures of children on Red Band's iPad, and Ari is going to continue to tap your penis, no. and we're going to try to get you from 1 to 10 on uh, firmness. Uh, <laughs> Let's tie no, a bell to his don't, dick. Don't, don't Google kids, Red Band. <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah, don't go pinky and then hot kids. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. You can't go. You can't go pink and hot kids. It's okay. They signed. A, they, everybody signs a special piece of paper. We can technically molest people up here. I can't get hard anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, this guy's gonna choke the shit out of a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do to let some anger out when you have to kill some uh, energy? Uh, what do you do? What are some uh, guilty pleasures yeah, of you yourself? Enjoy? Uh, what do you enjoy? You ever killed a foreigner? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mostly play games, jack off, watch movies. Nice. Yeah, what do you jack off to exactly? Uh, mostly just big tit porn. <laughs> Man, big tit. No harm, no harm, no foul on that. Yeah. Victimless oh. crime. You have a girlfriend? No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a victim? Who did that? Is that you? <laughs> All right. No, no, someone no. just talking to you hope to make a girlfriend. <laughs> Huh? I'm gonna keep ask. I'm gonna keep asking questions, and uh, I'm gonna have Sam answer for you. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot more interesting. Have you had a girlfriend before? Uh, I wouldn't call it a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you wouldn't call it a girlfriend, I mean, what would you? What would you consider it? A barista that didn't know I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I had my hand inside of her, though. <laughs> Dark cucks. Oh, amazing. Why, why does it make you sound like a henchman from the Venture Brothers? I thought he was doing pretty good, honestly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, who said that? Me or you? <laughs> <laughs> That is a spot-on impression of Sam Talon's impression of you. Yeah. What's your goal? What do you want to do in life? I want to make a mask of a human face. <laughs> How'd you lose your virginity? Uh, she wasn't awake, but I was more awake than I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I could be that awake. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. God, that is incredible. That's... How do you feel about Jews? I think that it's an act of genocide. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He said that, not me. <laughs> Absolutely amazing, Nick Mummy. 
what an interesting force you are. Other than stand-up comedy, is there anything you could ever picture yourself doing? You seem like you're, uh, you know, uh, like a hell bent on this. Uh, probably work in the movies, doing Indeed. something. <laughs> what kind of job in movies could you possibly do? Muppets take Austin. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Uh, we just uh, got to get at the mothership, and that's gravy after that. <laughs> I'm going to be the first felt guest on Joe Rogan. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. All right. Oh, God. I could keep you up here and have Sam answer for you forever, but I guess I have to, guess, I guess I have to keep it moving. Yeah, you want to say something to the world? Yeah, come on. A final message. Any, it, could be, it could be anything in the world. Uh, fuck you. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Nick, here's a big joke book. Congratulations, my friend. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's going to go practice blinking in the back. <laughs> I, bet, I bet that guy rules at Thundersticks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise. 60 seconds for Caleb Silvers, everybody. Caleb so Silvers. Yeah. Anything can Jew, happen. Possibly and here Jewish. we go. It might be Jewish. Well, uh, so uh, I don't know if you guys can tell by looking at me, but uh, I don't get laid very often, you know? Kind of sucks. Hashtag me too. Shit. More like hashtag what about me? Jesus Christ. I wake up every morning praying today is the day somebody at work finally slaps me on the ass. But not once. Not once. Uh, I am, uh, uh, well, I'm gay, so you don't have to worry about me getting all pissed off about nobody wanting to fuck me, you know? The difference is, straight guys who can't get laid look in the mirror and say, I don't know why nobody wants to fuck me, and then they shoot up a food court. Uh, gay guys, on the other hand, look in the mirror and say, yeah, I wouldn't fuck you either. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> your breath stinks, your personality sucks, and your mother is a cunt. And then we just spend the rest of the night crying alone in the shower. Is that 60 seconds? <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. No? Oh, fuck. No, it's 51 seconds. 51 asked, seconds. I figured I'd let you know. My favorite part of that was the few of you that pretended to relate to gay culture. Huh. That <laughs> chuckled at his fucking thing about the showers. Yeah, I loved you in Making a Murder. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah. it was fantastic. That was my best part. Hell yeah. But you you're gonna... gay? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you don't seem gay at all. You don't seem uh, gay. You want a beer? Sure, thank yeah. you. You don't well, seem gay. You must be the fucker. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Generally, yeah. Always top, never You might want this one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Sam Talent's new special, The Toad's Morale, December 26th. Watch my special. It comes out tomorrow. <laughs> it's on Matt and Shane's secret podcast YouTube channel. Make sure you watch. So, uh, how so old were you when you realized you were gay? It seems like like an hour ago or something. Always, yeah. Always really? Knew. Yeah. I came out really young. He so kind of sounds Muppety as well. Am I crazy? No, it sounds exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's just nerves, I guess. Yeah. I guess. Is there I some sort of like gay that. welcoming committee that tells you not to talk like that? Uh, no. Hmm. Well. No, I wish there were. Yeah, it's interesting. Two Muppets in a row, and you're the one that actually likes a hand up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Thank you, band. I didn't know you guys had that <laughs> locked and loaded. Do you get do you, so? Can I ask you a question? Please. Is it? Are you only? Uh, like, do you only give the penis, or do you receive it? Did you not hear my bit? I never get laid. Fuck. <laughs> but if you did, did in a perfect you? world. Yeah, in a perfect world. Yeah, I'm more of a top. Yeah. Nice. Really? Yeah. 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 Bottom's a little like scary a for me. Uh, why, why, why is it scary for hurts. you? For the it same hurts. reason that it's scary for everybody? Probably. Yeah. Well, right. tonight we all got fucked in the I don't ass. have the balls to, like, really go all the way. It's Hanukkah. You're a top. Ari, right, spin him. Yeah. <laughs> Gadel. <laughs> yeah. Puts the men in menorah. <laughs> all right. So what's the gayest thing you've ever done? Uh, Probably have sex with a man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, I put my penis inside a dude. Yeah. He ate dick up here tonight. <laughs> yeah. I dressed up like a girl one time uh, okay. for Halloween. Okay. All right. Were you yeah. Amy Schumer? Uh, no, no. Uh, I wish, yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, no, I tripped down the stairs and broke my leg uh, <laughs> in my heels. So it was a uh, yeah. I said I'll never do that shit again. That turned me straighter. Right, right. Yeah, yeah women's bones break easily. Yeah. You're really committed to uh, character there. Oh, shit. Um, have you ever been with a woman? No. No? Really? No. You should try it. It's pretty Not fucking cool. Is it? You might they have like a it. pussy. There's no shit in there. Yeah. yeah. What? What? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a self-lubricating hole. Yeah, yeah I get it. It's more it's... of the guy attached to it. I would fuck a dude that, with a vagina before I would fuck a girl with a dick. Does that make yeah. sense? So you're a hero. <laughs> yeah. Basically. So it's really not about no. the Dick or genitalia. Vagina. No, no. It's about the really pets. about like yeah. man face is what Basically, you're into. Yeah. Is there a specific type? You like manly men? Uh, I what? like them all. Can I ask a question? I like twinks. I like every. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Rank them. Oh, uh, sounds, Mark. Sounds like a... Mark, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Okay, obviously. Okay, for, for sure. Obviously. Mark's obviously the Okay, now smart. the real dust. <laughs> Tony's second class. But. Fuck. Oh, thank okay. you. Thank you. I'm in a different one. Because you ran into him at a bar recently? No. Okay, uh, go ahead. Maybe. <laughs> go ahead. We ranked the rest of us, too. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, Sam, let's go. Uh, no, yeah, you red man. No, not on my worst day, probably. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Wow, not on your worst day. No. This Very guy. Close. Was I not... last or was Red Band last? Uh, uh, Sam, Sam Red Band. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you Red would fuck Band. Red Band before Sam? I would Sam? fuck Red Band first, yeah. Oh, you have it all out of but order, But I look like dude. a trans woman. <laughs> oh. That's true. If you had a pussy, you would be first. All right. Hey. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like an actual pussy or a fake um, like man pussy? No, like to... an actual... like. Right. Born a chick turned into a dude. You know, that's hot. Wait a minute. Hold on. Chick turned Sam, into a dude. Sam, I don't understand what I'm saying. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no, no. this is about right, to pass right, out right. for right. hatred right ah. now. This super famously, straight. Famously homophobic uh, <laughs> yeah. D-Madness just yelled stop like, in the middle of all this. <laughs> got, just because got, I'm blind doesn't mean I can throw up off an image. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got a little too real for D. That... <laughs> Don't let the rainbow Sorry, sunglasses fool you. Yeah. He is homophobic. Yeah. You ever been to a child. glory hole? What? You ever done a glory hole? No. Oh, no, you should no. try it. Do you know of one? Oh, Around yeah, here? for sure. I would. Yeah, come to the back. Yeah. Give me the address. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll try anything. What about rest stops? Is that real? Uh, I don't know. What about adult bookstores? I don't know. What about churches? I'm the worst gay guy ever, okay? Fuck. I, literally. Hey, have you ever you hooked said... up anywhere other than a bedroom with a man? Uh, Yeah. Where? In a hammock. <laughs> Oh. oh, that's good because if he misses ass, there's a bunch of holes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Gets uh, <laughs> a nice little swing going. That's good. <laughs> Interesting. How do you end up having sex in a hammock? Uh, fucking, I live in a hammock. <laughs> you live in a hammock. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What should lead with that? I should have. Yeah, uh, that's kind of boring. But I sounds fail relaxing. It's... What do you mean? Where do you live in a hammock? Uh. <sighs> Into Rainy Street. <laughs> I probably shouldn't tell that. Yeah, I've been there a while. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Where on Rainy Street? That's just. Stop it. Well, I can't stay there now. What Shit. do you want him to describe the tree, Ari? Yeah. The... <laughs> There's two trees. Just uh... on Rainy Street, you set up a hammock? Yeah. And you're out there? Yeah. I've heard of Elf on a Shelf, but Homo in a hammock. My credit sucks. So wow. <laughs> It's crazy because there was supposedly a serial killer murdering young men down I by know. Rainy well, I Street. I was hoping he would kill me for a while. That was sort of the point. You know? But he's like, nah. Yeah, I was like, I'll take, hang out down there and take my chances. You know? but, All right. Whatever. Well, you've been on this show before, right? No. No? No. Interesting. Okay. Well, he's pretty good in the post. Yeah. What? He's pretty good after the stand-up. Okay. Yeah, yeah the stand-up. If up, Ari sorry. thinks sorry. so, then here's a big joke book. There oh, you go. thanks, buddy. Sweet. There you go. He could catch it as well as monkey pox at any given moment. Uh, all, right, all right, we're just flying through it tonight. Pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for Trevor Misho, everybody. Misho! Trevor Misho. Misho. Oh, here we go. Trevor Misho. Hello, everybody. How are we doing tonight? Having a good time? So real quick, I want to jump right into it. Uh, I'm raised by a single mother. Uh, anybody else? Yeah. Well, both is better. Relax. Having both parents is better. Uh, I wonder if anybody can just tell that I'm raised by a uh, single mom. I sit when I pee probably more than I should. Uh, and my car definitely hits curbs on the daily. My rims look like granite at this point. Uh, I also love gossip. I don't know about you guys. Uh, when, it, when it's time to watch the football game 
at my friend's house, I find myself in the kitchen with the ladies, also wondering why Heather got so fat. <laughs> I'm not allowed in the garage anymore. Uh, a friend asked me for a 5 8 wrench and I came out with 13 pieces of metal. I'm like, is this one of them? I'm not really a man, actually. And I'm not allowed in the garage anymore, which is fine. They call it a man cave in the Midwest. Uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. Your wife gave you the shittiest piece of land in your property, said, go in there. You need heat to even exist there. Thank God. Uh, you'll, can... you'll never find me hanging out in a garage unless if I'm hanging out in a garage. Thanks so much. I'm Trevor Michel. All right. I can see why your dad left. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. There you go. Trevor Michel. That right. was tough because he doesn't look like a mutant like the rest of the people who bombed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I dressed too nice to do so bad. I'm sorry. Well. What? It won't stop. I dressed too nice to do Just so bad. Fine. Oh. You're unlikable. <laughs> Trevor, how old are you? 26. What do you do for a living? I work in warehouses. How long have you been doing stand up? Like two and a half years. Where okay. at? In Phoenix, I started. Where? Uh, in, like, you know. What places? Phoenix, like the clubs? Yeah. Uh, Devil's Advocate, that outside yeah. bar across from Tempe. Okay, I often go, didn't know those. I would get up every once in a while at the House of Comedy on the Triple Threat shows. That was cool, I guess. Nice. Uh, but when the pandemic... <laughs> yeah, nobody cares. When the pandemic hit, uh, I just stopped. And rightfully so. Dude, you don't have to do this. <laughs> so I've been told. Yeah, like, you got a big, bright life ahead of you if you yeah. don't do this. Okay. Do you think in the two and a half years that you've been doing it, would you say that that minute is your best minute, or do, are you trying like a new minute or something like that? Oh man, I don't know. I uh, do you want me to try another one? Why don't you try? Your, why don't you just do your best joke? Your a fastest, joke that, best, shortest. Okay, okay, okay. Good quick, joke. Take a breath, though. Okay. Two and take a half breath, years in the game. Your absolute think best joke. Or you can do one of Mark's too. Oh no, no, don't do mine. All right, uh, you guys, big Googlers. Yeah, yeah huge. Google. Crowd goes wild. Oh, no. I love Google. Google. Google Hell yeah. 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 yeah! You do Google. You do Google. Yeah. He likes Netanyahu. <laughs> All right. Instead of asking Sorry. the Google thing, just go into your bed. Right. So I was uh, on the internet uh, finding cool things because this is a great setup, and I came across the term heteropaternal superfecundation. Does anyone know what that is? A lot of questions. Keep I'll, say it, I'll say it once again, uh, heteropaternal superfecundation. This is the miracle uh, which when a woman has sex with more than one man in a short enough period of time, she can become pregnant uh, with twins fathered by both the men. And my question is, why such the long name when you could call her a whore? <laughs> ah, is the noise that the audience uh, made. <laughs> Don't know if right. that was audible bad, to the podcast not, not listeners. Bad. It was a hard ah. <laughs> All right. So you can get like a fucking degree in web design in like eighteen months. <laughs> you said single mom. Is that yes. true? Yeah. Yeah. Y your dad's nowhere in the picture. He is later. Uh, right. Eventually. Is he rich? God no. No. Is your mom rich? No. Really? I know. Good, like I said, it's my girlfriend. I got a new girlfriend, and she got me clothes. And how clothes they're the wrong are they? One. I love how cool you think. You keep referencing these clothes. I love how cool you think you look. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. You're dressed like a foster jacket. kid on his birthday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is not that cool. Uh, you should look like a casting director was like, guy it. trying to be cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, okay. So what is the coolest thing about you, Trevor? Uh, I'm from Wisconsin. Oh, uh, okay. Again. Uh, what's that's, the... That's what a lot of rappers Where, where in Wisconsin? Racine, Wisconsin. Okay, uh, I've never heard of that. Uh, very what's cool. The, uh, what's the least cool thing about you, Trevor? Question. Uh, this right now, for sure. What else? Well, in maybe two weeks from now. Um, Could you recognize you were bombing? Yeah, from the... Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, the no, that helped. That's, that's nice. It was crazy. I did like jumping jacks back there. It was the dumbest thing in the world to do. Uh, so, uh, Self-confidence is not real. With you. Yeah. Right. Um, when do you feel confident? Uh, within the realm of Wisconsin, normally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're like one of the kings of Wisconsin. If I'm around a lot of cows, I do okay. Huh. Yeah. Enough about your girlfriend. Enough about your girlfriend. <laughs> Okay. Anything else interesting about you or your life at all before Literally we Literally anything worthwhile to listen to. You Come on, buddy. Tipping? Anything huh? at all. You ever go tipping? 
Tip, Kyle Tippin? No, no, sir. No, uh, I thought you meant tip-ups. I thought you were a big ice fishing fan. That was my mistake. Um, Let's go back to the much broader question. Yeah. Before I throw this little joke book at you. Anything interesting about your life at all? Uh, I went to Mark Ruffalo's uh, grandma's funeral, and he didn't go. There you go, my friend. Congratulations. Thanks there so he much, goes, everybody. everybody. Trevor wow. Nisho. Wow. Looks like the hanging himself might come to a full prophecy here. Be careful what you manifest, ladies and gentlemen. Don't write things down if you don't want them to happen. Okay. I'm going to do something kind of fun right now. I was uh, upstairs before the show. Sam said that he uh, noticed a funny comedian was here. Adam, the talent coordinator here, at the same time walked by and said that I just saw a great guy. Uh, it's a hot tip because I busted his balls about... Uh, who was it? Was it Heath or fucking someone like that recently? And I said, they never tell me when anybody's good. I always send everybody to them. So this is the first time that uh, I'm going to get to see somebody that my friends have told me is funny. And uh, he's from Estonia and isn't in town for long. So I've never literally seen him before. But funny people have told me he's funny. We're going to give him a shot. Make some noise for Ari Matti, everybody. Here we go. Ari Matti making his Kill Tony debut. Estonia. <laughs> Yes, hello America. <laughs> Number one still. Uh, as uh, the lovely Tony said, I am from Estonia. Uh, <laughs> uh, people always ask you stupid questions when you're from Estonia. Uh, the one I get the most is, uh, is it part of Russia? And now for the past year I've had to be like, uh, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> whose side am I on? The winners! Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if Russia does decide to attack us next, I hope it's in the next two weeks, because I am here. Um, <laughs> Estonia, I've never heard of it. Go, cowboys! <laughs> Uh, I've been trying to get some pussy. Um, <laughs> it's very difficult. Because uh, I'm gay. No. Uh, <laughs> um, it's very difficult when, you, uh, when you're an Eastern European, you know, because uh, I don't have that confidence, you know, that personality. <laughs> Every time I go into bar, I mean, especially here. I've been here for three days. Fucking impossible. Every dude here has a thing. They have a hat. I went to bars here, I'm just in the corner with my creep Eastern European energy. <laughs> I come up to you, I sound like a vampire. You know. <laughs> I'm interested in pussy. Ah, ah. <laughs> Thank you, America. Still number one. Fuck yeah, all right, Matty. Amazing. We let you go there because it was uh, so fun. Finally, Fucking a funny Ari on this show. Motherfucker. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, the Wisconsin Ari. guy just killed himself. Yeah. <laughs> he hung himself with string cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Great work, Ari. Thank Ari, you. welcome to the show. Fantastic fucking performance. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, nine years. Hell yeah. All of yes. it, obviously, in Estonia? Uh, mostly, yes. Where it's else a good hotbed of comedy, though, right? Nobody knows what? that. Sorry? It's a hotbed of comedy. Sorry, what? It's a hotbed of comedy. Hotbed of comedy? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> I mean, like, every time in Edinburgh, they're like, every, there's a gigs in Estonia, you should go check it out. There are gigs in Estonia, yeah, you should. better than people know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're very funny, Samuel did. I did a man, it was uh, great. Yeah. Yes. yeah. You should go. Yeah, I'd like to. Maybe, uh, yeah. maybe I think I'll Ari just... wants to share a hotbed with you, you know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> Anything for a visa, my friend? <laughs> I don't give a fuck about uh, what... I, all I give a fuck about is what passport you have. Uh, I'm with you, buddy. A tax break's a tax break. Gay, straight, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm okay. Thank you very much. More of a vodka man myself. Fair. Ari, you are absolutely hilarious. Thank uh, you. Tell He's us about man. your life. Like, How'd you end up like this? What do you mean, like this? <laughs> you mean so handsome? 
Well, you see, Estonia was raped by many nations. Uh, <laughs> that's what happens. I mean, if you look at the UK, not so good. Um, baby blue eyes, the Vikings. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need help. It's great. It is amazing. It is incredible what can happen if someone is funny on the show. Uh, it's like a whole different show. It's like fucking all the way through comedy show. I did a show in Estonia, and uh, this, they were buying me shots of vodka on stage, and they were from like regional different drinks from the region. And the third shot was a shot of Ukrainian vodka. And I shot it, and then I said, uh, wow, you can really taste the cowardice. Oof. Yeah. And then this guy in the front row was like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Ukraine is not coward. And then I had to do like 30 more minutes. <laughs> yeah. It was tough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Ukrainian vodka. Incredible. Amazing. Uh, is so what is... Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Well, yeah. gonna, Thanks for the saver there, buddy. He's in a little something, but... Uh, Amazing. <laughs> um, so let me ask you, uh, what is different from Estonian comedians to American comedians? How is the culture different there? Bilingual, you know, what? multiple languages. We travel, yeah. you know, we know stuff. <laughs> Intellectual people. Super. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody in Estonia? No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Me and three other guys. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Number one comedian in Estonia out of four. <laughs> yeah. What is Estonia known for? What's it like famous for? Uh, Skype. Ah. Oh, oh yes. Use yeah. that little app. Yeah, yeah. we have it here now. Not Before, that much anymore. It was yeah. big for a while until FaceTime happened. No, yeah. Zoom took our shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's Zoom from? China. Ah. Yeah. Yes. Sounds hey, here's a question about Estonia. Where's like an underrated place to go? Tartu. Yes, exactly. What, what's, what's going on there? Uh, uh, students. <laughs> All the middle schools are in Tartu. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great little university town. Very cute. Very lovely. Okay. <laughs> Tar me too. <laughs> Everybody has a sauna. Everybody has a sauna. I had my sauna before I had my bed. Um, oh, and yeah, yeah, everybody has a sauna. Amazing. And due to Joe Rogan, that has boosted our economy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I have a new one on the way right now. Elias. Yeah, very excited get sweat, about it. Sweaty with the boys. Do you get... Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, that's one way of putting it. I was planning on mostly doing it by myself, but I guess you just invited yourself over. So. <laughs> Uh, you have a uh, like one that you control with your phone, or do you do the wood burning? What's fuck the phone? No, no, traditional. Right. You have rocks. You throw water on them, and it hurts. But you take it like a man. How do you heat the rocks? Electricity? Uh, I have an electrical one in my apartment. Yeah, but you have a what? An electrical one. Ah. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. But the wooden one is the traditional one, yeah, where you can, like, burn alive, you know? But how do you heat the rocks on the traditional one? Like, with, you put wood under, right. you see, and fire. Right, got it. Yeah, so I was just making sure, because I yes. kept asking about the wood. <laughs> Shit right in your face, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I just got fucking roasted. <laughs> <laughs> roasted in the sauna territory. <laughs> I love it. And what is your love life like? Are you single? Yeah, it's, very, it's tough. I don't okay. know if you know this, but there's a guy that uh -huh. uh, is single. He's on a hammock on Rainy Street. So <laughs> while you're in town, feel free to just butt fuck the shit out of him. Sorry, D Madness. He's mad at me now. No! Yeah. You can be gay in this country still. Yeah, you're allowed. I know, it's crazy. I mean, what a, what a, what a world. <laughs> <laughs> Estonia has so many women. How do you decide which one to rape? Jesus. <laughs> Mr. Ari Shafir. Uh, <laughs> No, he's a Jew in Christmas. He's upset. <laughs> <laughs> also, Estonia famously pro Nazis. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah, made a good we killed the Jews before the Nazis even got there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we didn't want to start off on the wrong foot. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> it is, yeah. Wow. It, it How did you kill them? You sonnet them? <laughs> Stay in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stay in there. We're going to just burn a little extra wood. Put a spoon in the door. Like, you're not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
I love it. Well, it's uh, fun to have you. Anything you want to plug or anything like that? You're in, uh, the My biggest... visa, my K-1. Uh, okay. <laughs> Absolutely. I watch 90 Day Fiance. I learn a lot. Right. Uh, right. <laughs> you need to find a gay one for your K-1. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they'll use a little A-1. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so, uh, where can people find you or anything like that before you go? We'll if you, you Google plug. Estonian comedian, the only one that comes up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Ari Mati, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Amazing performance. Thank you. Have a good night. Absolutely amazing. And like that, we've come to the finish line. There's only one way to end an episode like this, oh ladies boy. and gentlemen. The longest standing regular in the history of the show. Oh, no. Coming off of taking a week off of shows right now. Uh, he's fresh. He is filled with brand bits. He has been high, very high fiber on this guy. Some people call him the Tijuana Tarantula. Others have called him the Memphis Strangler. Some you know what I call him? What? My favorite comic. Ooh, Sam Talent's favorite comic, the Vanilla Gorilla, William. ladies and gentlemen, the Bronx Bomber, the Harlem Globetrotter, the Detroit Dixie Tail. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> Man, I can't hear shit anymore. That is an out-of-work dynamite salesman. Um, a masked man is leading the race to become president of Ghana, and it made me think Hillary should have just worn a mask. Last week, have you seen that bitch lately? She looking rough. Okay. Remember that show, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Yeah, so what was the fucking answer? That is an out-of-work dynamite salesman. <laughs> Hunter Biden has been indicted in California because apparently he spent $872,000 on porn, hookers, and sex clubs. Hey, Red Band, any explanation for the 42,000 checks sent to your mom? <laughs> Come on, you're going to take that? Give us a sound effect. But seriously, what exactly is a sex club? Seems like it would be a lot easier to just use your fists. <laughs> okay, that's my time. Yeah, <laughs> William Montgomery. That wasn't bad. <laughs> William, do you know that one. jacket's inside out, bro? <laughs> oh, wow, it yeah, is. Yeah, I wore it on purpose like this tonight. Oh. I was, yeah. Is inside out. Very interesting look. What made you do that? Just freezing cold outside, and it adds extra protection if the orange side is out. That's what the guy who sold it to me said. He's like, if it's on the, if the orange side is out, it gets, it stays warmer if the green part is. So that's what I'm doing. To the... <laughs> I, Amazing. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I didn't get the last joke about the fist. Just like a sex club, like you use it to like, I don't know, put in some girl's club. fucking pussy yeah. or something, okay. but you can just use your fist. I gotta know. My bad. Right. <laughs> no, no, all right. No, I gotta know. I was okay. wrong, Gregor, not gonna. I love it. The great Trey Campbell was up here earlier, looking a lot like you. You remember him? He was, yes. We were actually snorting Adderall out of my car before the show. And cool. he has Broderick. a really bad fever right now. That's why he was so red. Okay. <laughs> yeah, y'all are all probably sick up here. I was he horrified. He is looked like he had cholera, yeah. Yeah, he's sick as shit right now. <laughs> all right. But we were snorting the Adderall, so I'm sick as shit right now. And, oh, God. Jared, you call it, did you? How's your health been in real life? <laughs> it's been good. <laughs> I heard you have uh, inoperable cancer. Well, I had a 50% uh, percent chance of living, and they took it off. I'm better now. What was the other 50%? Uh, that I was going to fucking die a coward. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't know what the other 50%. They would never tell me. 
You I was asking. I was like, what, to live or to die? I was like, what's the other 50%? 50% and live, 50%, who knows? Yes, that's what they gave me. So that's worse than death. <laughs> Can you j- it- guys just touch beards and get it over with? I just well, kind of already just... last time you sucked my dick. I saw your fucking dick earlier, dude. Holy shit, Ari. It's so nice to see you again. Yeah, can we Oh, oh no. can we put our beards together a little? Oh. Yeah. Oh. And some homeless guy just got his own fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. A real meeting of the minds here. <laughs> Shafir and Montgomery. William, do you have big Christmas plans? I know you guys love Christmas. Going back to Memphis, well, tomorrow I have to fly to New York City, and I'm going to be there at 1 p.m. I have to do this thing for Dr. Squatch. Um, And I'll be honest, I'm wearing this fucking orange tonight because I think my angle on the show I have to do is that I'm looking for Dr. Squatch, and I'm killing Dr. Squatch, and... No, actually, Tony, I don't know what my angle's going to be yet, so we're going to figure... Interesting. You're out. doing a corporate gig for the soap, Dr. Squatch? For Dr. Squatch, what yeah. What the we'll fuck see. is Dr. Squatch? What does that mean? Yeah, explain the situation. Well, it's, uh, weirdly Dr. enough, Broners? they asked me because it's the type of soap that caused my skin cancer, so they're going to be in for a big surprise tomorrow oh, night at this fucking show. Wait a minute. You... I have pinpointed it to fucking Dr. Squatch. I was using them several years before hey, I started getting skin what? cancer. It's their fucking fault. Dr. Squatch gave me fucking skin cancer. So they're going to be in for a really big surprise tomorrow night, Tony. Wait. Corporate headquarters. A, a little fun fact, because sometimes the line between truth and fiction with William is very blurry. Wait. He literally, I happen to know for a fact, because he mentioned it to me, you know, on the on the backside of things in a green room or wherever it was. He goes, you know, hey, I wanted to get your advice on something. I got offered this huge corporate gig with Dr. Squatch. And I asked him, I go, oh, well, what are they paying you? And he goes, long story short, I'll just tell you guys, he goes, higher. And I named another number. And he goes, higher. And I named another number. He goes, higher. So literally, you're watching him burn money in front of you right now. He's literally saying that the company that he has to, that is paying him, I was just saying. And I'm going to be at their headquarters tomorrow in New York City, Tony. Do you think? I know it caused my cancer. And I had a 50% chance of living, Ari, and I don't know what the fuck. The, the other percent chance was that I was going to go to fucking corporate of fucking Dr. Squatch and lay down the fucking law. You should hold this episode back. <laughs> the cymbal crash was yeah. lighter on that one. Yeah. The band is hilarious. <laughs> so is this something you're planning Ooh. on doing at this corporate gig that Dr. Squatch is paying you for to say that it gave you skin cancer? Yeah, I mean, this is a gambling? perfect opportunity. Are you gambling on the Agreed. fact that every single member of the Dr. Squatch corporate team in New York City... Oh, yeah, gonna, no, Tony, they're are, all going to be there. <laughs> yeah, I already but know. are you gambling on the fact that they're all Kill Tony fans? And are like, oh, you don't know, that's William, he's wild. I'm gambling on the fact that they caused my fucking skin cancer. <laughs> I had a 50% chance at living on this earth with all y'all and... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, so we'll see. Yeah, I'm pissed off. We're gonna see how it. Tony, I'd hold this episode back for about three weeks. What? I'd hold this back by about three weeks before you release it. Yeah, cash the check tomorrow, Willie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Get it, get it, and cash it. No, I'm not even going to try to get the check. I I can't really go into details exactly what is going down in New York City tomorrow, but. Hey, William. Did you take the mystery box? I took the mystery box. (laughs) How's the fiber intake going? We've heard a lot about your fiber lately. What's the name of the cereal yeah. that you eat record amounts of? Kellogg's All Brand Buds. They the boxes are eight dollars a box. I recently went to the grocery store. I was starving. It was like two in the morning. I've been starving recently at like two in the morning. I don't know if y'all ever just get so hungry at like two in the morning, but I was starving the other couple Tuesdays ago and man I was just fucking walking around in there those boxes are like seven uh seven or eight dollars but I don't know if y'all have ever just been so starving at like yeah. fucking like 12 like yeah like 2 a.m fucking Tuesday night you're just like starving yeah like uh it seems like you were where's really the hungry food in this place yeah it's like you go to a fucking grocery store and you can't even see the food you're like where's the food because you're because you're starving right 
How long? It, how long before that was your most recent meal? It seems like you were very hungry. I'm on this new diet, Tony. It's called the uh, multiplicative something diet. It's basically where you go one day where you eat, one day where you don't eat, two days where you don't eat, one, two days where you eat. It goes up from there. You're getting up to, I don't know, a couple weeks where you're not eating, then you're eating for a couple weeks. And during that couple weeks, you got to really eat because you're going to be starving. The you're Estonia be... guy must be so confused. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you guys do at comedy clubs. <laughs> Why? The way I write jokes. <laughs> okay. Um, William, interesting. And uh, have you done any puzzles or anything to pass the time lately? You famously talked about a puzzle a couple weeks ago, and then you posted a picture. You sent it to me, at least, of this puzzle that you described on the oh thank you Ari podcasting guru Ari Shafir everybody just a little We've been drinking. little favor from uh, Ari um, so what have you been doing to pass the time lately William been doing puzzles yeah I've another thousand pieces in the works I'm can you about... describe this puzzle for us so it's sort of it's like a sandcastle Tony and it's a funny puzzle where half of the uh, half of the sandcastle half of the puzzle is in the daytime half of the puzzles in the nighttime Tony so there's like scenes where the moon is glistening on the sandcastle and there's keep going. freaking keep going there's sandcastles everywhere Go up there's the shirt. Go up the shirt. Uh, um, there's sandcastles everywhere. It's glistening, and uh, and uh, oh, yeah. it's like half of the half of its night, half of its daytime. People don't even know uh, if the, there's yeah. sand traps. Or, there's Do all kinds Matt of Rife. sand, Tony. And then there's also uh, Matt Rife one hand. There's the a belt bunch off. of there's boogie boarders. There's a bunch of boogie boarders out in the ocean. <laughs> oh, you found it. It's a decent. <laughs> It's going to be four more weeks of spring. (laughs) (laughs) Sam, I have a really long torso. (laughs) It's not what y'all do. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, no, I think the thing I like most about this puzzle, half is daytime, half is nighttime. There's a little cabana (laughs) off to one of the sides. And the nighttime part, there's a cabana. (laughs) <laughs> and there's drinks and all kinds of stuff just glistening in the cabana. So it's been hard finding all the drinks and oh, man, that finding was like all a... the snacks. And... <laughs> all right. Anything else, William, before we let you go? <laughs> that was like a Sam Harris podcast. Yeah, what? Hold on. What just happened right there? <laughs> I, didn't, uh, I, I didn't was horrified. I literally tried to think about the puzzle, but Ari, I couldn't. You got groped. <laughs> Kill Tony, the Pro Molestation Podcast. Now the Grinch <laughs> stole your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. It's like, isn't it interesting? If he was gay, that would have been like worse. That would have been like a sexual assault. Right. So yeah, but this straight. was just a good old fashioned horseplay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It really was. That was just yeah, Tom Foolery. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of that locker room <laughs> jive, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of that knockery. I'm just gonna be thinking about the to that fucking tomorrow night at the headquarters of Doctor Squatch when I'm fucking. I swear I'm gonna be so fast in that place. I'm gonna be moving swiftly, and yeah, I mean everybody's in there. I feel like they, your roller quarters is about to get some head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you eat before you get on that plane tomorrow, because you might end up being absolutely. And Tony, I ain't ever gonna start eating. I'm on the part of the diet plan where I'm not set eating. Set up for starving, but yes, you went with the other branding uh, <laughs> thing there. <laughs> it was really starving. <laughs> yeah, the starving thing was really working for you. I figured I'd I feed know, it to you. Fun. I figured I'd try to feed you a line since you were <sighs> so hungry. I was starving. William <laughs> lights out Montgomery, ladies Willie! and gentlemen, the legend of the show. We hey, did it again. ConnectMobileHealth.com. Use the promo code KILT15. Get a fucking IV drip. NinjaPartyBus.com no, with shuttles going to the what? arenas on December 30th and 31st. KillMerch.com. Uh, the drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt is in. Gel Blaster, Red Rose, Yellow Rose, Hall Law Firm. Uh, Sam Talent's new special. Make some fucking noise for Sam Talent. I tried to warn you people. The Toad's Morale out December 26th on Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast YouTube channel. Mark Norman. 
Make some noise for the great Mark Norman. Plug something, Mark. Say something. Please. Hey, hey, MarkNormanComedy.com. Go to special YouTube, Netflix. Our podcast. dear big brother and dark lord, Ari Shafir, has graced us. Ari, give it to him. Thank you. Uh, I'd just like to promote that Danny Brown and uh, Billy String should do a duet together. Pro Hamas. What? Fuck yeah. From the that river to the awesome. sea. <laughs> How about one more time for the best damn band in the land? Matt Muling on the electric, John Deese on the keys, Deep Madness on the bass guitar, Paul Deemer on the horns, Michael Gonzalez on the drums. The drawing from your local artist, Chris Rogers, is in. It's a new William Montgomery. These are available for sale in the lobby with some brand new exclusive Kill Tony merchandise, our red band. Check out the Sunset Strip, sunsetstripatx.com. Merry Christmas. We love you. Thank you so much. Good night, everybody. Merry Christmas, y'all. Two, three, four.